Mm-hmm. You good? We live. You ready? Yep. We yeah, we rolling. All right, Shalom. We're the real Hebrew Israelites. All right, according to the Bible, come out week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked and sinful queendom, right? Called America, which is spiritually Egypt, Rome, Babylon, Solomon, and Gomorrah. Before we go any further, we gotta give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's own begotten Son. Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Rakakadash. All right, double honors for our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teach us this truth according to the Bible and the world. All right, another shalom to all the sincere occupants who have the four points zero question this truth with diligence and sincerity. We're gonna start like we always do the real 12 tribes of Israel. You have Judah, the so called blacks, the so called Negroes. All right. You got Benjamin, the so-called Jamaicans, the West Indians, right? The Bahamians, right? Uh, 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 Dominica, right? Those islands. Levi, the so-called Haitians, okay? Simeon, the so-called Dominicanos. Zebulun, the so-called Guatemalans and Panamanians, right? Uh, um, uh, Honduran, mm -hmm. right? Which we just saw prior to camp. A Salvadorian. A Salvadorian. Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans. Anas, the so-called Cubanos. Gad, the so-called North American Indians. Reuben, the so-called Seminole Indians. Naphtali, the so-called indigenous Indians of Argentina to Chile. All right, you got Asher, the so-called indigenous Indians of Colombia to Uruguay, Paraguay. And last but not least, Issachar, the so-called Mexicans. If you see yourself on that sign, according to the seed of your father, repent and turn back, man. All right? Uh, somebody give me, um, uh, somebody give me a uh, Tobit, uh, third chapter from the fourth verse. I'll turn right to it. And that's the spirit. And look, man, because, you know, our people are, 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 are and, um, uh, got their panties in a bunch, man. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, they keep, you know, scratching their head. They got questions on, well, 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 why we can't, why is happening to us? You know, why we can't get over the hump? You know, crying, want peace, safety, and justice, all this nonsense, man. It's because we didn't hold right in the contract, man. As, as, as a nation of people, really, we didn't hold up our end of the contract, man. Go ahead, bro. Oh, you got something? Nah, this is Tobit three and four. For they obey not thy commandments. Mm-hmm. You get to do on 28 and start at, uh, 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 read 1 and read 15. Gotcha. Um, go ahead, bro. For they obey not thy commandments. Yes, the Lord said that us as a nation, the so-called black Spanish Native Americans, we didn't obey. We didn't obey the law, man. And there was consequences behind it, man. But see, our people, they don't think about the consequences. They just, just jump out there and start doing stuff, man. It's a consequence for every action, man. And we're living out our consequences for being wicked, man. Go ahead, bro. A definition of obey. Kind. What they say to every action, there is a reaction. Yep. Obey it says comply with the command, mm -hmm. the direction, or request mm -hmm. of a person or law. Uh, submit to the authority of. Yeah, comply. You know, our people ain't submitting to what the Heavenly Father has prescribed for them, man. Which is to make them that special people, which is law, statutes, and commandments. Right? To make us uh, 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 um, a sight in front of the nations, man, the other nations. To be ooh and wah, ah, look at those great people. But we chose not, man. We chose to be like the filth of these nations, so therefore the Lord handed us over to it, man. Yeah. Yep. Back in Tobit, three and four, for they obey not thy commandments, wherefore thou hast delivered us for a spoil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to be robbed, preyed upon, man. And that's what happened, man. That's what happened to us, man. We went into slavery, all right? Well, 70 AD. Slavery, that's what happened to us, man. We got robbed and spoiled. Got robbed of our nationality. Now you got some gutter rats going around saying they're the Israel. Uh, they don't even say Israel, they say Israeli. You know? They don't call themselves the Jews, they say the Jewish people. Right? Isn't that identity theft? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You'll go to jail 
for identity theft here in America, but yet the ones that set up these laws here, they're the biggest identity thieves, man. Culture vultures, man. You know? Read that part again. You got something? Read that part. Yep. <laughs>
my birthday coming up, hey, turn up time. Well, the Lord gonna turn up on our people, man. <laughs> and he has been turning up on them, man. Oh, why is this happening? Because you, you're going against the Heavenly Father, man. All 12 tribes, man. From Judah all the way down to Issachar. And look, on the, on the way here, we just seen, uh, 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 this is the definition of spoil. Yeah. <clears throat> on the blue letter. Um, prey. A uh, plunder. And well, it says the word. It says the word booty, but meaning like treasure or spoil. Yeah. And um, and that's it for the blue letter. Yeah. Like the scriptures tell you exactly right. Um, you want to grab that? You want to grab it? If not, it's, it's all good. Oh, who's been listening to 11 and 5? Oh, okay. You know? It said, blessed be, you know, most high, something to that effect. You know? So, bring it up. God. This is the book of Isaiah. You know that? Go ahead. Yeah, I'm okay. good. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, mm -hmm. saith Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me. And that take covering for a covering. Yeah, man. You know, they're not taking counsel of the Lord, which is the prophets. You know, they're out here doing their own thing, man. You know, and the word woe means death and destruction, man. You know, our, our people are rebellious. They're not, uh, they're not uh, coming out here uh, seeking the Lord, man. They want to go up there on some Black Lives Matter madness and try to protest, man. Try to get equality with the, uh, with the enemy, man. You know, the Lord ain't with that. Yeah. And it reads, and they're covering a covering, but not of my spirit. Yep. Yeah, they're coming in the spirit of Satan, man. And that they may add sin to sin. And what is sin according to the Bible? Transgression of law, statutes, and commandments, man. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what our people do. You know, they're rebellious. They want to do what they want to do. You know, so therefore the Lord is going to uh, judge them, man. Simple and plain. Yep. Water, bro. Wasn't there a little bit more than that? Oh, that was, that was the main point. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm reading, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, kind of, okay. Verse 2, uh, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth. Mm. Yeah, and what's modern day Egypt, man? America, yep. you know? It says to go down to Egypt and have not asked at my mouth, which is the prophets, man, you know? They're not seeking guidance from the prophets. They're seeking guidance from Esau, man. You know, which that's going off. Uh, Esau's guidance is the way of this world. That's mm -hmm. right. You know, just like if a Jake come up to us, like we had one Jake say, you know, man, you know, my rent is due, you know, but, you know, I make my living by, you know, selling dope, you know. And hey, look, man, throw all that away. Right. You know what I'm saying? But the world would say what? Look, man, sell it and then quit. We're telling you to stop now and trust in the Lord. Right. You know, that's the counsel of, 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 of the Yahweh watch me, I was shy. But the counsel of the world says, look, sell what you got and then quit. Right. You know, well that could be your last time, man. Right. Mm -hmm. If I may say, your enemies aren't gonna help you. Right. You know, we just read that none deliver, none say for store. You know, the Lord gave us up as a prey here in the land of our captivity. And these heathens are taking the, uh, uh, taking advantage of that, you know? Right. They are, they, oh, go ahead, bro. No, I'm saying they're taking, uh, they're using the opportunity to destroy us, you know? Yeah. They don't want to see us out of this state. Right. They don't want to see us uh, 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 repenting and turning back to the Heavenly Father. They don't want to continue to see us looking like spits, 
fighting Negroes and Tomahawks, you know, out here looking like a bunch of dummies. Right, if I can land back off what you just said, man, you know, another uh, rebellious Israelite, uh, uh, Big L, man, he made, a, he made a song called Street Struck, and it was pretty much going off of what you said, man. He said some of my people in the game still send the pain, but if that's what you gotta do to maintain, then go ahead and do your thing. That's why the Lord smoked his ass, man. You know, because he's promoting. You know? He was wicked. You said that about what you just said. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And it reads on Isaiah 30, uh, verse 2. To strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, which is the higher ups, the elites. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Yeah. A lot of people think they're going to get protection. You know what I'm saying? Just by uh, 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 doing what uh, Esau tells them to do, man. They think they're being protected out here, man, by Esau. But they, but literally they know that he's the enemy, man. You know? <laughs> That's the crazy part. You know, they trust in this system, man. And and, and, this, and they already know the system corrupt, but they still trust in it, man. That's bugged out. They trust that Esau's going to have mercy on them. Right. After all. I think he'll, man, I think he's gonna grow conscience, you know? That's why we say our people are not who are insane. Uh, you don't need that? Excuse me, guys. Oh, uh, you're good. Uh, you still want what? Tobit? I got one more. Okay, um, bring your priest up, finish out the Tobit, then we won't grab. I got one more. Verse. You got one more? Yeah. Yeah, bring it up. Uh, Isaiah 30, verse 3. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. And the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. Yep. And that word confusion means a humiliation, man. You know, because you look stupid trusting in your enemy, man. You know, so therefore, the Lord is just going to put you to death, man. For being sadish, for being rebellious, you know. And, you know, one way our people are going to be uh, ashamed and confused is when that, huh? Humiliation. Humiliation comes when that dollar crashes, man. Yep. And they yep. realize what they've been fighting so hard for, selling their soul for, it's worthless. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord said what? They shall seek me early, but they're not gonna find me. You know, it's gonna be too late to seek the Lord then, man. The damage has been done. This is um, Jeremiah 5 and 19. And it shall come to pass when ye shall say, wherefore do the Lord our power all these things unto us. <laughs> then, hey boss, you can get a picture of the sign signs. if you like. Oh, a picture? Yeah, yeah, if you want a picture, you can get a picture of the signs. We, you know, we don't really want to be photographed. Yeah. You know? It says, it shall come to pass when ye shall say, wherefore doth the Lord Yahweh our power all these things unto us. Then shall thou answer them, like as ye forsaken me, and serve strange gods in your land, so shall ye serve strangers in the land that is not yours. You know? So, if our, our people, or why are we in this predicament? Why are we, you know, at the bottom? Well, because you want to serve idols, you want to serve these other uh, gods of these nations, and not serve Yahweh by Shema Hashem. The Lord telling you, well now you're gonna serve their gods and yep. you're gonna serve them, you know, in a, in a land that is not yours. You know, you you're now you're gonna have to go into captivity. Yep. You know, all because you didn't want to hearken unto my words, unto my servants the prophets. That's right. Yeah, bring it up. This is the book of Daniel, chapter nine, verse nine. The point is at ten. To the Lord our power below mercy and forgiveness. And our people forgot that. Our people have forgotten. That the power of mercy belongs to the Lord, man. I think it belongs from to this devil, man. You know? Though we have rebelled <clears throat> against him. Mm -hmm. Verse 10. How uh, is that what? Though we have rebelled against him. Yeah, we fought back against the Lord, man. Against his standard. You know? They say, look, man, the way these heathens are doing it, that's the right way. That's the way we gotta go about life, man. That's why we gotta go about things. And you see the position that people are in because of it, man. Verse 10. Neither have we obeyed the voice of Yahweh our power. What's the voice again? Once again, the voice is the prophets who have been here since the beginning. Tell you that in uh, Luke, the first chapter. Yeah. 
to walk in his laws, mm -hmm. which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. And walking, walk is an action, right? And you have to act upon doing what the Lord told you to do, man. That's why scripture tell you in James, the first chapter, be ye not a hearer of the word, but a doer also, man. Verse 11, yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law. Yeah, so we all went off, man. straight away from the most high man you know we start following the doctrines and the ways of these heathens but Jeremiah told us not to spread upon y'all by some y'all shy well so being returned seek him ten times more yeah so being returned now that this truth is out now that the, the, the word is out you know it's time to seek the heavenly father now that the books is uns, uns, uh, uh, unsealed it's time to seek the heavenly father man but y'all people don't want to do it. Scripture said, seek them ten times more, man. Yeah. Seek them till you can't seek them no more. You can't give up on seeking the God of the Bible, man. Go ahead, bro. That was him, man. Yeah. Uh, Come. This is Daniel chapter 9, verse 11 again. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law. Even by the party that they may not obey thy voice. That they may not obey thy voice, man. You know, they, they, they cast the prophets uh, behind them, man. You know, they forsake what the prophets were saying through the Spirit of God. Yeah, I watch you shot. And it reads on, therefore the curse is poured upon us. Mm -hmm. The curse. Deuteronomy 28 chapter, man. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servants of the Most High, mm -hmm. because we have sinned against him. We transgress, man, up until this very day. That's why we go into captivity, man. That's why we went from shackles, all right, to uh, 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 us being destroyed in, in, in the heart, you know, in the brain. Esau ain't gotta put shackles on us no more, man. You know, he got that mind of our people. That's why our people are going around doing the walk, okay, going around uh, uh, trying to secure a bag, okay, smoking weed, committing all types of adultery. Look, <laughs> uh, the elder did a, uh, uh, elder Ardun did a, a lesson on um, on adultery, where this guy, um, <laughs> his woman, his woman. Uh, him and him, the man and woman got in a fight, husband and wife got in a fight. She called a friend of hers, which was a guy. Right? The guy came to a rescue. Captain Sable, right? The brother came to the brother said, listen. Yeah. I didn't watch it. Huh? I didn't watch it. Con, con. And the, uh, the dude killed the dude, beat him down with a hammer. And then his woman helped him chop up the body. Now this dude came to, to save you, and you over there chopping his body up, man. Hey, but look, now not what? None of man's affairs. You know what I'm saying? Huh? All wickedness is a little. little. To the wickedness of a woman. You know? But the, our, our, our people are heavy in adultery, man. That's one of the ways our people went off, man. And, I, and, and, and that's a judgment. There's a judgment set for that, man. You know, for brothers out there in this single life, man, be careful who you, who you get involved with and screen them thoroughly, man, to the best of your ability, you know. Get these women have you hemmed up, man. And six, ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. Con, yeah, we were sold to the nations. The Israelites, man. Not them Jewish rats, man. Not them gutter rats, man. Okay, but the children of Israel, the real children of Israel were sold unto the nations, man. 
Well, all 17? 17 nations, right? There's 18 total. 18? Yeah, we're one of them. Yeah, so all 17. Okay? It says, You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, <clears throat> but because you moved the Most High to wrath. Hey, look, because we moved the Most High to wrath, man. Okay? The Lord gave us a, 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 a straight commandments, man, as it tells you in 2 Ezra, the 7th uh, chapter. Huh? Yeah, 7th seven chapter. Seven chapter, yeah. What we should do. And we didn't do it. So it moved. Yahweh Bashim was shot to wrath, man. And look, and this is to his people. How much more payback to these Hebrews, man? <laughs> you know? They're going to really get it, man. And the Lord jacked his own people that he loved up so much. You know, how much more these heathen, man? That's why if you're an Israelite, man, be thankful, man. And, and, and seek the Lord ten times more. Because he could have made you a heathen. An actual heathen. In the flesh. In the spirit. Yeah. Um, I got one thing you said that. Okay. This is Jeremiah chapter 30. Verse 15. Why criest thou for thine afflictions? Thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thy iniquities. Because thy sins were increased, I have done these things unto thee. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. Now that's plain. That's plain. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that's plain, man. You know? If you can't understand that, we're going to read it again. Bob and Gesha, we're going to break it down to you. It's uh, Jeremiah 30 and 15. Yep. <clears throat> Why criest thou for thine affliction? Mm -hmm. Thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thy iniquities. Yep. Because thy sins were increased, I have done these things unto thee. So that's why these things happened, because we kept sinning, man. You know? You must, our people must want it, this man. They wanted to go through what they wanted, what they what they're going through, man, and what they have been through, man. Because sin, sins increase, man. Wickedness increased. And what do you think is gonna happen when you got wicked rules, man? Wicked rules gonna have wicked vibrations gonna have people going off, man. Especially the Israelites. Mm -hmm. Let me read that again. Just go to verse 16. Oh, it's girlfriend. Oh, man. Uh it says, verse, it says, because thy sins were increased, I have done these things unto thee. Yeah, and look, the Lord has done these things unto us, man. First Samuel 2 and 6, the Lord killed him for making him alive, he bring it down low, lift it up. You know, he wounds, he heals. It's because we went off, man. And the, and the, and the Lord is, is uh, judging our people right now as we speak, man. You got, um, um, protests throughout the four corners of the United States, okay? For someone who was wicked, man. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. It, and it reads, verse 16, Therefore, all they, that, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. Yeah, the scripture said, all they that devour thee. And who devoured us? All these nations, these nations devoured us, man. You know? So therefore, they're going to be devoured, man. You know, they took us down. They raped, robbed, murdered us. Okay? Took our nationalities, took our lands. Took our kids. Because we don't own our kids, man. You know? We think a birth certificate, social security card is about. You know? We don't own our kids, man. Why do you think you have to send them to school? Exactly. You know? You have to get them their shots. Yeah. You know? It says, therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, mm -hmm. and all thine adversaries, every one of them. Yeah, Psalms 83 and 1. Pretty much all, all, uh, all nations all, outside, yeah, outside, outside of Israel. Israel. Yeah. And it says, every one of them shall go into captivity. Now, now, 
hold that. Let's get the definition of captivity. Whether you're not getting the blue letter or you're going to get it, you know. You know, but the scriptures say every last one of them are going to go into captivity. And it's coming straight out of the Bible, man. You know? Huh? Yeah, Jake, Jake get real simple. Well, captivity ain't slavery. <laughs> well, what is it? You know? You got it, bro? Mm-hmm. Bring it out. This is just, this is a Google definition. Okay. This is uh, captivity. Okay. So now, the condition of being imprisoned. Imprisoned. Or, mm-hmm. or what? Or confined. Or confined. You can't leave this place if you don't have the paperwork. You don't have you know, proper ID. It's the same thing back in slavery. Well, uh, 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 slavery time when you had chains on you. You know, you want to do uh, something for your for your master, right? You had to have proper paperwork. Where you going, boy? Well, I'm going. Who, who you going for? Uh, this is my master. I'm going to get this, that, and the third. You had to have your paperwork. You know what I'm saying? Just watch these old slavery movies, man. They show you. You know. Same thing with today. But see, what people don't understand is everybody is slaves in this corporation, man. Not just Israel, but our concerns with the Israelites. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this, <laughs> this devil's basically just tricked everybody and told them they weren't slaves anymore. Yeah. That's all it did, but nothing's changed, really. Yeah. Not really. Just yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and the second definition is uh, Captivity, short for Babylonian captivity. Hey, look. <laughs> and that's on Google. <laughs> hey, look. So there you go. Uh, who, who, who served captivity of one of the Babylonians, man? If ding, I, ding, 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 ding. If I can show that. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I don't know if it's, I really can't say that good, but you search on your own if you got yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do some work. You search on your own. Oh, but the water—that's no, that's good. Bro. That's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, slaves don't have uh, 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 rights, man. You know, you told what to do. Yeah. That's right. Uh, just finishing off Jeremiah thirteen sixteen. It says, "And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil." And they that pray upon thee will I give for a prey. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we're going to meditate terror upon these heathens, man. Scriptures say that, man. Thinking of ways to uh, terrify them, man. And that's going to be a beautiful thing in the kingdom of heaven, man. Right. Yeah, but, you know, Jake still got to finish out the punishment here. Yep. You know, the punishment isn't over. You know, you can see, you know, what they say, good behavior, good mm-hmm. early release. Yeah, that's what we trying to we trying to be those uh, merited uh, prisoners yeah. to get that early release. Early release program. You yeah. know, we we on that straight and narrow path to good be behavior. on. Yeah, <laughs> good behavior. You know what I mean? We trying to get early release out of this punishment because Jake going to the gas chambers. Right. <laughs> right. We trying to avoid that. Jake definitely wants the gas chambers. <laughs> yeah. That was it, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a little bit more. Uh, you ever finish that one time? I, I got a little bit more. Okay, just finish that. Yeah, brute four and seven now. For ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to the Most High. You know, you provoked the Yahweh by Shemal and Shai. And in his wrath and his anger, you know. He's brought you over in the captivity to serve out punishment, yep. you know? Yep. If I can land back off of that, yeah, because sacrificing goes into worshiping, man. Yep. You know? That's what our people do. They're worshiping uh, deities that is outside of your house by Shimon and Shai, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where the Lord that. destroyed them, man. Huh? Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. Uh, I got a little bit of history for you. This is the book of Judges, chapter 2, verse 11. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and said by them. Mm-hmm. And they forsook the Lord, Yahweh, power of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt and followed other gods and the gods of the people that were round about them, the heathens, and bowed themselves unto them and provoked the Lord to anger. And to provoke, provoke means to tempt, man. 
you know, you know how somebody uh, 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 that wants to uh, get on your nerves, they uh, they poke you. You know what I'm saying? You know until you spaz out you on you it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Before a fight, yo, push you a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Do to something. get that to provoke yeah. you, man. Do something. To make you do something, man. Yeah. Uh, that's what we did spiritually to the Lord. Yeah. Verse 13. the hands of the spoilers which are the heathens and spoiled them and he sold them into the hands of their enemies round about so that they could not any longer stand before their enemies and why did that happen because they forsook the Lord and served other idols man you know just like in these times today that's why we went into slavery that's why all these things are happening to us because uh, our people are forsaking the Yahweh Shem Yahweh who they're supposed to be serving, man, to the best of their abilities. That's right. You know? And you know, the Lord is punishing them. Yeah. Okay, how you go to that? Even worse. Yeah. We've seen it. 
But uh, I guess I guess um. What's up, man? What you want again? You gonna do the round with the twenty chat? What what you about to bring up? Um, that the Lord be with us, no one can be against us, pretty much. Yeah, bring it. Then we gonna, we gonna I'm gonna get in that. You wanna finish out Toby first? We never finished it. Oh, that was probably a little bit more. That Toby the third chapter, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was a little bit more. No, huh? I thought we did too. No, no, no. Okay, so. This is uh back in Toby. Just finish it off. This is Tobit 3 and and 4 it says and it reads and unto death and for a proverb of reproach and to all the nations among whom we have we are dispersed. That's how you know who Jake is among these heathens, man. Yeah. Remember a proverb of reproach, a laughing stock, you know? No one wants to be us with the butt of every joke. You know? You know, look at those spicks, look at those coons, look at those wetbacks. And every nation has their uh, lingo and, 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 and how they describe the jakes among them, man. That's right, the jake is everywhere. Yep. Now, if I can land back off of that, yeah, those Ammonites, the so-called Japanese, man, you know, uh, when the jake go, go close to them, they uh, cover their noses, man. This, 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 they, uh, they stereotype uh, all Jakes uh, because thinking that they have half to the other nations, man. You know, mm -hmm. well, yeah, in a different country. But yeah, they biting on the heads of frogs and stuff. They eating rabbit, eating all types of crazy, but uh, human meat, man. Right. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. the niggas do got bad hygiene. Niggas got bad hygiene. Yeah. <laughs> all of them, man. Yeah. Shower and go get some body acts and spray yourself down. Mm -hmm. Dude, what are you doing? Why'd you laugh? Clean your room, yeah. <laughs> this is uh, Judith. Uh, this is Judith chapter 5, verse 19. Mm -hmm. We'll start 18. I'll well, start 17. It says, In which they sin not before their power, they prospered because their God that have iniquity was with them. That hated iniquity was with them. You know? So when we didn't sin with the Lord, we prospered. You know? Yahweh was with us. Verse 18. Hey, look, it show you that what battles we had, man. Mm-hmm. You know? And the Lord showed us early, early in the book of Judges. You know, we were winning mm -hmm. the battles. Yep. You know, and then that dude, you know, he did that which the Lord commanded not. Yeah. Stole the garment. Golden wedge. Hit it underneath his tent. Yeah. Keep it. Like, who, yo, who went off, man? You know? Yeah, all right. It's very yeah, real to do that. Yo, how they do out, yo? <laughs> Get on out of here! <laughs> you go back on dragging them out, you know? They stole him and his whole family. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. It was a harsh they were yeah. defeat. Yeah. And we're led kept captives. In the, into a land that was not theirs. And the temple of their God was cast to the ground and their cities were taken by the enemy. But now are they returned to their power and are come up from the place where they were scattered and have possessed Jerusalem where their sanctuary is.
wickedness is very easy here in America. You know? I Just a little bit more. And it reads, but now therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people, and they sin against their God, let us consider that this shall be their ruin, and let us go up, and we shall overcome them. That's right. You know, that's the mindset of these seeds. That's why they're trying to keep us down at the bottom. Yep. You know? Because they know if we would that's why Esau's put a trillion of dollars. You know, and to you know, put us in the hardcore, you know, in hardcore bondage to try to beat our heritage out of us. You know what he did. You know, but the spirit of the Most High, you know, uh, uh, you know, and now through the spirit power of Yahweh Shema Sha, we are standing up on our feet again. You know. You know, it's funny because they're 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 trying to. Uh, they, 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 I saw an article. Uh, I think I brought up a couple weeks ago about the. Um, I could be wrong on the dates, but the, the, the 18, 1819 or 1619 Act, where they uh trying to say that, you know, slavery didn't happen. Mm -hmm. They just came over here trying to find work, and that, you know, there was, you know, none of that stuff happened. Oh, Try, yeah. Trying to get you to discontinue from your heritage. That's already happened already. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to get you to uh, discontinue again from your heritage, seeing that we done woken up, man. You know? Mm -hmm. yeah, man, that, that's not gonna happen. Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, you are still in that heathenistic state of mind, you know? And then when we try to reprove you, to correct you, to show you the correct way of following after the Lord, what do you do? You rebel against that even more. Yep. You say, no, I'm good where I'm at. You know, I want to stay, you know, a heathen pretty much. Jake wants to stay here serving these guys and try to work it up. Shalom, brother. Shalom, bro. Shalom. Shalom, GMS Truth in Orlando. Shalom, brother. Shalom, Akim. And, and it reads. Hey, look, the scripture also say all Israel down of Israel. Yeah. It says, yeah, I can get that right. Yeah, because, you know, like you said, like, like you was going into, man. You know, you got the elect among Israel, and then you got the two thirds. Mm -hmm. You know? This is a Romans 9 and 6. Not as though the word the Most High have taken an effect. Mm -hmm. For they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. You know? Yep. Just because you might be an Israel by lineage, mm -hmm. you know? It don't matter. The scriptures say the Most High looking at the inward man, you know? And that's, that's right. how you're going to be judged, you know, in these last days. Your true intent of your heart, you mm -hmm. know? What you were at least trying and, uh, and working towards. Because you know, uh, scripture say, well, a just man falls seven times and get it up again. Yep. And there is not a just man upon the earth that do of good and sin of not. Right. You know? Back in Judah 5 and 21, but if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by. You know, leave them alone. You know, yep. just keep pushing. Yep. You know? Which Esau is not going to do that. No. You know? He wasn't set up to do that. Yeah. It says, but if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by, least their Lord, which is Yahweh Shemel Shai, mm -hmm. you know, our defender, the one who's going to uh, uh, protect and deliver us. These their Lord defend them, and their God be for them 
and we become a reproach before the world. You know? And look, you're not going to have a chance. You're not going to stand a chance, <laughs> man. And, and, look, and they know this. You know? Man. <laughs> That's facts, you know? Yeah. They know. Yeah. You know? They know what happened, you know, when we got delivered out of uh, Egypt, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. The Lord destroyed Pharaoh and his armies. Mm -hmm. Yo, know, they they stood no chance against Yahweh Okay. Let me see. And and you know also you know it's like you know we went to war with less men. A lot of them battles, we went to war with like you know three thousand men. They probably had like ten thousand men. You know, three hundred men. Honest, yep. The Lord, the Lord would tell us if we had too many men. Yeah. Not. And tell him to stay home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, but he did that for us so we wouldn't boast ourselves in his in you know in our power. Yeah. You know, the Lord made it very evident that he yeah. was with us. Because it's a thing, it's a saying there's strength in numbers. That's the that's as as he saw, man. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. The scriptures say ten of you shall chase a hundred and a thousand shall put ten thousand to flight. You know? This account real quick. This is okay. Exodus 14 and 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Mm -hmm. No, don't worry. You know, be still. You yeah. know, be, stay calm. You know, Yahweh Shema Shai is going to be with us. That's right. This is, a t this is the time when he was delivering us out of what? Out of Egypt. You know, and Jake was nervous. Yo, yeah. the army, they coming. Yeah. You know? They on their way. And just like you watch these movies, they're about to do a prison break. You know, they're nervous, they're sweating. Oh, yeah. You know, they're like, oh man, you know, they're on the edge. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a, that's how Jake was. That's right. Real quick, this is Psalms 46 and 1. The most high is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Mm -hmm. You know, so the Lord is a very present help. I mean he's gonna be there in time of trouble. If we be with him, then he's going to be with us, yep. you know? And we are with the Lord by serving him to the best of our abilities, you know, and having faith in what is written, yeah. you know? Hey, Psalms 34 and 7. The yeah. angel of the Lord encamp around about them that fear him and deliver them. Mm -hmm. You know, so the, 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 uh, the, the two-thirds is not going to be a part of that, man. That's right. I'm going to jump down to verse 10. Uh, Psalms 46 and 10 Be still And know that I am Yahweh And I will be exalted Among the heathen I will be exalted in the earth mm -hmm. And how is he going to do that? By taking down our enemies That's right He said he's going to be exalted um, uh, uh, Let me read it again it says, may say, you know, he, He's been exalted now Through, through his men mm -hmm. But it's only going to magnify when, it's, when it starts getting physical yeah. What did uh what did Yahweh Shai say? I have you know what the heavenly father uh, uh Yahweh Shai said what well, I have glorify thy name and will glorify it, you mm -hmm. know, when he comes, you know, and takes and delivers uh the nation of Israel, which is the elect. Yep. You know, really the elect of the nation of Israel out of this uh, captivity, out yeah. of this land. It reads Psalm forty six and ten, be still the same thing the Lord told them in Exodus. Be still. Yep. You know, be of a, you know, calm down. I yep. got you. Yep. You know, they got all these, uh, be calm and just do this. Yeah. Be calm and just trust in Yahweh Shemuel Shai. That's right. And know that I am Yahweh. Mm -hmm. that, that He is that He is, you know? That's right. That He exists. That only reason why, you know, everything in the earth is going on is because of Him. That's the mindset Yahweh Shai had. What did he say? You can have no power uh, over me. At least it was given unto you from heaven. Mm -hmm. You know? And that was during the time of his persecution. You That's know? right. I will be exalted among the heathen. The Lord's going to be exalted among the heathen. You know? That's and he's right. going to be exalted uh, when he takes down our enemies. You know? When he takes them out of power. And that's why a lot of guys don't last, and it's true too, man, because they want to be exalted in this thing. But it's, right. it's about the Lord getting exalted, man. I know, right? You know? It's crazy. 
That's where that word sincere goes into. We just servants, you know? Yep. You didn't come into this truth or find that you were Israelite to, to get praise and all of this jazz. Right. We're, we're, we out here to serve out punishment, yeah. you know? You don't just get out of the corner and start acting a fool again. Right. You know? Now, fame's going to come, mm-hmm. but that shouldn't be what you're in this thing of in this thing of ours about, you know? Yeah, that's right. It says, I will be exalted in the earth. You know? And Yahweh by Shemal Shai is going to be exalted, you know? Mm-hmm. We'll go back to Exodus, but uh, real quick. This is Exodus chapter 18. Uh, chapter 18, verse 9. And Jethro rejoiced for all the goodness which the Lord had done to Israel, whom he delivered out of the hand of the Egyptians. You know, Jeth- Jethro being Moses' uh, father-in-law, you know? When he was, when Moses, you know, when he heard the account of all the uh, uh, acts that the Lord did for the Israelites, he rejoiced, mm-hmm. you know? He was happy, you know? You gotta know, they, him and Moses, they were kicking it for a while, Yep. you know? Then, you know, he had to go on this journey. Yep. He said he came back. <laughs> he was like, yo, the Lord did all this. Yo, he yep. rejoiced, you know? <laughs> It says, verse 10, And Jethro said, Blessed be the Lord who hath delivered you out of the hand of the Egyptians mm-hmm. and out of the hand of Pharaoh. Mm-hmm. You know, and who's the modern day uh, Egyptians? Right. You know, these Babylonians. You know, who's the modern day Pharaoh? These elites. You right. know, who's controlling the whole earth? Who has us in hardcore bondage? Who refuses to let us go? That's you right. Know? It says, and Jethro said, Blessed be the Lord who delivered you out of the hand of the Egyptians, and out of the hand of Pharaoh, who have delivered the people under the hand of the Egyptians. Mm-hmm. You know, under what hand the Egyptians? Under the under the captivity that they were serving. Yep. You know? Under that hardcore bondage where they were forced to serve. Yep. You know? And nothing's changing. It's going to come back in these days as well. That's right. Verse 11. Now I know that the Lord is greater than all gods. For in the thing wherein they dealt proudly, he was above them. You know, he understood him being the heathen. He understood. Now he, now he knows. Mm-hmm. And the Lord. Hey, man. That's, that's the dude right there. He's yep. the most high. You know, yep. he understood that. These heathens, their God, they try to act like they're above the Lord, but nah. The Lord, the Lord has put them is has put them to shame mm-hmm. and is going to do it again. Yep. You know? And that's one thing that our people don't understand. They don't ever see this devil going down or being put to shame, man. But we're living in those times, man. We're living in the times where the Heavenly Father is about to do a great work, which he's already started, you know? Yep, that's right, bro. This is Psalm chapter 113, verse 4. The Lord is high above all nations in his glory above the heavens. Mm-hmm. Who is like unto the Lord our power, who dwelleth on high? Who humbleth himself to behold the things that are in the heaven and in the earth. Mm-hmm. You know, and when you humble yourself, what do you do? You bow your head. Yeah. You know? So the Lord is looking down on the heavens and the earth. You know? Mm-hmm. The hev- we know the heavens is higher than the earth. The Lord described us down here as just grasshoppers. Yep. Worms. We, that means the Lord high. Oh, yeah. You know, the Lord is very high up. Yep. You ain't get higher than the most. That's why. Right. That's why they call him the Most High Power. Yep. You know, because there's no nothing above Yahweh, by the Heavenly Father. But this is back in Exodus 14 and 13, and Moses said unto the people, "Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord." Yeah, sit back, chill. Don't worry. And, and get ready to uh, 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 what is this uh, this great salvation the Lord's going to do for us, man. That's right. Well, you know our people, then. 
Most of what you talking about, man. Hey, look, man. How we gonna get through this? You know? Those same ones that didn't have the faith back then, they cut their back in now. And they're not gonna be delivered, man. No, that's right. I'm gonna start up a little bit then. Okay. I said that. This is Exodus 14 and 10. And when Pharaoh drew nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes. Mm -hmm. And behold, the Egyptians marched after them. And were and they were sore afraid. Yeah, cause they could see them. You can see this massive army, man. You know? The whole army. Yeah. You can probably see dust coming up from the horses, the chariots. You know what I'm saying? You can hear them. You can hear them thumping, you know? The earth rattling. Yeah. You know? And Joe there, you know, shouting there, 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 you know, they, you know, they show you on the cartoons. There's so much nerve that and they're biting their, their nails off. You know? I know, right? And Moses is like, you know, hold on, man, you know? You about, you, you about to see this uh, uh, this great work that the Lord is about to do, man. Yeah, good. And it reads, it, but the Egyptians, uh, I was in verse 10, right? Yep. yep. No, no, I was in verse 8. Uh, let's start verse 9. It yeah. says, but the Egyptians pursued after them mm -hmm. all the horses in their chariots of Pharaoh. Look, so the Egyptians pursued after them, man. Why? Because the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart again, man. You know? That just goes to show you, look, there's no free will. You know? Go ahead. Yeah. Well, I'm going to start at 9 to 3. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, It says, but, the, spirits, huh? but the Egyptians pursued after them uh -huh. all the horses and chariots and Pharaoh and all his horses and his army. So he didn't hold nothing back, man. <laughs> yeah, <all laughs> he said, yo, I need all my men. I need all my, all my riders, man. I need the whole army to go after the children of Israel, man, and bring them back. You know? Yeah, because Pharaoh's getting jacked up. Yeah. He was like, man, you know what? Yo, bring everybody. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Bring it. You know what I'm saying? No, he's yeah, no, he good, bro. <laughs> you know, he's probably thinking, man, I, you know, I lost my first, my first born. Uh -huh. You know? He's like, damn, like, you know, I, you know, he was sad, then he got angry. Lord, hard and start again, man. Mm -hmm. That's great. But it was all for the Lord to show his work, man. In the chariots of Pharaoh, uh -huh. and his horsemen, in his army, mm -hmm. and overtook them in camping by the sea beside. Um, and that's why the Lord had 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 us camp out there, man. Because he knew what he had and planned what was going to go down. See, I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drown these heathens, man. I'm gonna drown these doodle stinking uh, Africans, man. No, right. You know these dirty Africans, man. That's what the Lord said He's gonna do, man. The Hamites. Verse ten. And when Pharaoh drew nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, mm -hmm. and behold, the Egyptians marched after them, and they were so afraid. Yeah, they, they saw them getting close, man. They got afraid. Go ahead. And the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord. Uh -huh. And they said unto Moses, Because there were no graves in Egypt, thou hast taken us away to die in the wilderness. Wherefore thou dealt thus with us to carry us forth out of Egypt. So they thought they were going all this way just to die. Mm -hmm. You know? And you bring it. <laughs> he wants to be buried, yeah. Right. <laughs> just, we're just gonna die in the wilderness. Yeah. You know, it's gonna, you know, this far, this, this to happen. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, Jake's still simple. See, he still got that mindset. Verse eleven <laughs> through verse twelve. Is not this the word that we did tell thee in Egypt? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. they was catching hell. Yep. It was like, yo, we. Let's just serve the Egyptians, yo. Yeah. Just leave us alone unless yeah. you make it harder for us. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's what they told uh, Moses when he uh, yeah. did those uh, miracles. And two-thirds of our people are in that mindset now, man. You know? Get them guys off the streets. They don't know what they're talking about. They're making it hard for us. You wonder why they always want to shoot down a black guy. You know? You can walk through. It's just a camera. Everybody love a camera, right? All right. <laughs> And it reads, saying, let us alone, 
that we may serve the Egyptians? Yeah, them saying coons, they're in slavery, man. Them house, them house Negroes, you know? All right. Them uh, uh, straight hair, uh, straight hair, uh, 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 Latinos, right? Yeah, that's why people are saying today. Yeah. You know, let us alone. We just want to be here in America. Yeah. We want to chill here. Yeah. Serve our, uh, we want to uh, try to be uh, equal with everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it ain't, gonna, it ain't ending up like that. That ain't the, that ain't the, uh, that ain't the end of the story. That ain't what the Heavenly Father wants. That's the thing that our people got to understand. They go in their vain thoughts and opinions what they want. Instead of seeing what the Heavenly Father okay. wants. <laughs> you know? It says, for it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians. Yes, yeah, so they thought it was better to serve uh, uh, the Egyptians, man. Pharaoh. Getting their backs beat in. Just like now, man. You're working two or three jobs, tired as hell, can't do shit. You know, you want to get up and do something. You ain't got no energy, man. You know? Catching pure hell. Mm -hmm. It reads. For it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians, then we should die, then that we should die in the in the wilderness. Ungrateful, man. As simple as hell. Here it is, the Lord took us out of that. But Jake wanna run back to it. Jake running uh, head uh, head first, man. Back to captivity. Oh man, yes. Yeah, hey, hey, uh, cause Jake what? Jake was missing the leeks, he was missing the garlic. They was missing all the things that they was uh they, uh they was getting, man. I remember laying in my bed and then uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was chilling, man. All right. <laughs> After a long day of work, it was it wasn't that hard. <laughs> like, come on, yo, you ain't about to have to go to work no more. You ever have a, a week off vacation? Right. You like, damn, I gotta go back to work. That wasn't my quick. Hey. But most shakes like, I can't wait to get back to work. Hey, can't wait to get back. Hey, that's so true because I remember uh this, this is correct to work with me. He's like a week vacation, right? Every day is a week vacation. But my boss always put him down for two. Like, no, 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 one, 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 one. <laughs> so, for the time, because he always went to Mexico. Yeah. So, when the time came up, he was always like, hey, I want to stay another week. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My, we, all, we all knew he wanted to stay another week. He didn't want to come back. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? On that vacation, you home to. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You're you going to save some money so you fall in Mexico. You know what I'm saying? He didn't want to come back. We're just going there with you. Yeah, it's facts, bro. You know? Once you get, bro, once you get uncomfortable, you don't want to go back. But Jake, but the, Jake, hey, that's not their attitude. Right. That's our attitude. Right. Uh, verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not. Yes, the Moses believed. Yep. Moses is like, yo, don't worry. You see all the, you see everything the Lord done. See how quick Jake forget what the Lord already did. Jake mm -hmm. like, damn, son. Yeah. That's a nigga. That'll never happen again. You know, like. <laughs> yeah. That's a nigga, man. And Moses is like, yo, fear not. Right. The Most High with us. Right. But like, come on. You say the Most High got angry with Jake as he was delivering them. And get you 25. Uh, yeah, I forgot uh, her name. What's the name? 
Mystique. Mystique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, this guy's Mystique, man. <laughs> Everywhere. Hey, man, all the people Mystique. Yeah, all the people Mystique, man. <laughs> we, we everybody. Yeah, we everybody. Y'all Negroes. Y'all just Negroes. And right, me, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I just Negroes. Just mixed. Come on. And it reads, verse 14, the Lord shall fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. And what's wrong with that, man? Our people want to go and do the fighting themselves. That's why you see our people, see our people marching, man. Yeah. <laughs> Moses is telling you, hold your peace, yo. Why right. are you even crying? Why are you crying about this? Right. Yo, why are you all up? The slight work. <laughs> you know, yo, hold your peace. The Lord's going to do it. Right. You know? Uh, verse 15. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore criest thou unto me? Why? Well, why? Uh, yo, <laughs> what's up with y'all, yo? Right. Why y'all so uh, faint hearted? Right. You know? I mean, <laughs> Doubting the Lord? And you're like, come on, man. You can tell the Lord is upset, you know? Y'all just came out. Y'all carrying substance. You know, all types of gold. And you got, look, you even got slaves, man. Mm -hmm. You even had uh, service and handmaids, man. All right. This shit crazy. It is crazy, man. So the Lord had every right to jack us up, man. Just like now. The Lord has a prophet out on the scene. Our people don't want to hearken. He's going to jack them up, man. You know? And our people going to know in that day, man, that a prophet had been among them, man. That's right. And the Lord, Yahweh by Shemel said unto Moses, Wherefore Christ down to me, mm -hmm. speak unto the children of Israel, that they go forward. Look, go ahead. Keep going. But lift up thy rod and stretch out thine hand over the sea. And divide it, and the children of Israel shall go on the bright ground through the midst of the sea. Hey, that's that miracle. Yep. You know, that's the Lord like, yo man, lift up your rod, yo. Yep. Just walk through. Yep. Keep keep pushing. I didn't tell you how to stop. Right. I didn't tell you how to hey, yo. We made this should right. we go back? Right. Nah, right. yo, keep going. You know? Keep pushing. That's that's a beautiful. Like, can you, like, yo, man, like, oh man, that's crazy. And the Lord's gonna do, you know, show even better works on this go round, man. That's right. Uh, read your first up, bro. June. Yeah. <clears throat> this is June, verse five. It says, "I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, mm -hmm. how that." how how that Yahweh by Shimei was shy, having saved, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterwards destroyed them that that believe not. Yeah, but therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, because before we discontinued from our heritage, we understood this. You know, now the Lord is stirring up our pure minds by the way. By the, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, you know, and putting us in the remembrance of the former things, you know? Scripture say, whatsoever things are written aforetime were well, written for our learning, you know? Scripture say, a wise, uh, not scriptures, but you know, a wise man is going to learn from other people's mistakes, you know? So we got the example, we got the account right here. We can't be like that, uh, that faithless generation, you know? That 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 uh, provoked the Lord to anger that eventually got destroyed. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Jude verse five. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye knew, <clears throat> though ye knew this, how that Yahweh by Shimei Shai, having saved the people out of Eat, out of the land of <laughs> Egypt, afterwards destroyed them that did not believe. And yeah. they believe not. Yeah, afterwards, he destroyed them that believe not. You know? But on this go around, he ain't making it out of America. So if we go into the kingdom, and the Lord's the only part of the elect, we get those new bodies. And those who didn't believe then, they got to stay here in America. You know? The scriptures say, by thy word, thou shalt be justified. Yep. By thy words, thou shalt be condemned. That's right. They wanted to serve Egypt. They wanted to serve Pharaoh and the Egyptians. But they're gonna get the opportunity on this side, you know? That's right. And they're gonna uh, uh they're gonna be destroyed right along with them. That's right. Whatever. <clears throat> this is uh Malachi 3 and 16. It says <clears throat> Oh, someone started. 
verse 16. It says, Then they that fear the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, so this Bible is really for those that fear the Lord. Exactly. You know, those that were really... The, to be able to fear the Lord... You know, comes with that gift of faith. You know, then faith cometh by hearing, and by hearing the words of the Lord. So we heard these words, and through the terror of the Lord, we were persuaded, you know, and we believed and started to fear Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know? That's right. It says, Malachi 3 and 16, it says, and, the, and that thought upon his name, verse 17. Yeah, so. This book of remembrance was for those that fear the Lord and for those that thought upon the names of Yahweh by Shai. That's right. You know, of course we're thinking upon the, the name of the Lord. You know, look at all the things He's done for us. When a, when, a, when, when, a, when someone does all this for you, you know, you ain't gonna forget about. It. You know, what well, you shouldn't forget about. It, you know, That's right. the Lord said, "Many things have I done for you." You know, all these kings the Lord took out of power. The Lord massacred people for us so we can get our land. Right. You know? But Jake just forget that, you know? It's just like a woman. You know? You do all these things for your woman. And then she knows she like you ain't never did nothing for. That make you wanna man. <laughs> Malachi three and seventeen. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts. And the day when I make my jewels, make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spared his own son that serveth him. Yeah, exactly. He said, uh, reading in Bible show? Yep, this is uh, Malachi 3 and 17. And they shall be mine. Yeah, they shall be mine. We're going to be the Lord's, you know, once again. And we, the, the, the Heavenly Father, really the elect have always been the Lord. You know, but we gonna yeah from the beginning, but we're gonna be able to serve the Lord, you know, for uh, to our full uh, capacity, yep. you know, by getting those new bodies, and we're gonna be with the Lord now. Yep. That uh uh, uh what's the proof I get uh, uh Saint John ten verse twenty eight, and that's gonna be amazing to be able to serve the Lord because we're fighting two for them with the flesh to do it now. St. John 10 and 25, and Yahweh shall answer them, I told you, and ye believe, believe not. Mm -hmm. The works that I do in my, in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. Mm -hmm. Verse 26, but ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep. Yep. As I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them that follow me. Yeah, he, they, he knows them and they follow the Lord. Yep. You know, the sheep, being the believers of Yahweh Shem El you know? You know, we are part of that sheep, you know, as well as the voice, you know? Because yep. we heard the voice from our apostles and elders, <laughs> and we followed the Lord, you know? That's right. You read? Yep. This is St. John chapter 10, verse 28. It says, And I give unto them eternal life. Yeah, and the Lord gives unto them eternal life, you know? Which is going to be that salvation, uh, uh, that salvation here out of America, which is going to be uh, uh, us receiving that, uh, that new covenant. That's right. You know? Which is only for Israel. Yep, that's right. You know? Starting with the elect. Yep. This is St. John 10 and 28. And I give unto them eternal life, mm -hmm. and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Okay. You hear that, Esau? Mm -hmm. That's what he's trying to do. Mm -hmm. He's trying to pluck the elect out of the Lord's hand. It's not going to happen. That's right. That's why I said if it be possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Yep. But it's not possible. You know? Yep. Esau is wise in his craftiness, but the scriptures say there is no counsel against the Most High. Yeah. You know? The scriptures also say the Lord shall take the wise and their own craftiness. That's right, bro. You know? Verse uh, St. John 10, verse 29. This is my Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. See, the Most High gave those men yep. 
you know, in the, in the, you know, really the elect, starting with the 144,000, but really the rest of the nation that are going to believe that are allowed to uh, be saved, <coughs> they were given to Yahweh Shai. Right. You know, from the Heavenly Father, and said the Most High is greater than all, that's greater than all, ain't going to be able to pluck them out, uh, out of his hands. Yeah. You know? The Lord told you in Deuteronomy 30, 32nd chapter, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Is there anyone that can deliver out of my hands? Mm -hmm. The Lord looks up to the sky and says he lives forever, man. That's right. He's still living forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? I know, right? Even Methuselah didn't live forever. <laughs> he lived, what, 900 and something years? I know, right? You know? He <laughs> lived 969. Uh, yeah. uh, that was it, and then John. Yeah, that was it. But you were reading your piece up? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go back. Mm -hmm. It's Malik, we're taking the top of 16. Yeah, we're 17. the Lord and the, and that though and that thought upon his name you see the Lord he put he made he he got he uh, uh you know he put the Bible together for yep. us yep you know so that we couldn't be forsaken you know this book of remembrance yep. so call yeah so we can call upon him so we know how to please him while we're in the predicament that we're in yep. you know what happened to us yep. because you know you know, reincarnation says what? There is no remembrance of former things, things you yeah. know? And also with us discontinue from our heritage, you know? Yep. It reads on Malachi 3 and 17. It says, And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in the day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spare of his own son that serveth him. Yep. Then shall ye return and discern, and discern between righteousness and wickedness. You come through. That's what we're doing now. Do. Through, through, through the scriptures, man. Discerning righteousness from wickedness, man. Thank you. I'm going to read one more time for you. Thank you. Sorry yes. about that. Very good. This is uh, Malachi 3 and 18. It says, Then shall you return and discern between righteousness and wicked. And yeah. Then shall thou discern between righteousness and wickedness, you know? Because we're going to have the account on what to do and what not to do. Romans 15 and 4. Yeah, what pleases the Lord and what uh, provokes Him to anger. Yep. You know? And that's why it's good. It's good to be reading, you know? Don't nobody seem to read their Bibles
says, um, verse 18, Malachi 3 and 18, Then shall you return to serve between righteousness and wicked, between him that serveth the Most High and him that serveth not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now we able to discern whether you are a follower of the Lord or if you're not. The scriptures say, uh, try the spirit, whether it be of the Most High, yeah. you know, and we try it through the words. We try it through, uh, through the spirit of the Prophet Shema and Shai, you know? Uh, that was it. John, John. So, go back to Exodus 14. Mm hmm. So, you start at 16 or start at 14? Uh, start at 16. Okay. Because uh, Exodus 14 and 16, it says, But lift up thou, lift up thy rod and stretch out thy hand over the sea and divide it, and the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. Hey, look, so he told them to lift up your rod, you know? And the children of Israel is going to what? It's going to walk through on the dry land, you yep. know, and be fine. They're going to be all good, you know. Uh, you guys see, uh, move across the street. Yeah. Okay. okay. He, he, he says something about move, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but, um, let's just, we really can wrap stuff up while we keep teaching. Yeah. Now. Hey, um, put those signs in my car. We'll just go, uh, over there, down from the other camp. Yep, yep. From the main camp. That's right. So we'll do them waves. You wanna move right there now? Yes. Okay. You know. So we go um what we get? Stay rolling? Yeah, keep yes, rolling. Keep yeah. rolling. Hold on. It says, um Yes, the Lord had to when we went over dry land, man. You know? The uh the uh the, the heat from the uh from the chariots, right? It dry, it dry the bottom of the uh, of the sea, man. But it said he split the sea, he just lifted up the rod. Yeah. You know, you know, chariots. You know, the little duck, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The chariots gave us the light. Yeah, that's true. Let's move, bro. Let's go, uh... Oh yeah, that's what I'm getting down there. The water. Alright, Shamar, grab the rest for us. Come on, I can grab this one. Alright. Who's gonna handle it? Got a water bottle in that, in that thing right there. Okay, Shamar. Uh, just grab, uh, what's the last one? Mm -hmm. But you know, ultimately, that fame of the word is going to come, and they're going to be dying for us to be a uh, teacher in front of the world. Mm -hmm. Watch out. So. I'm gonna send on Shamar do a double check. Yeah, it smell more like piss over here. Is that what? It smell more like piss over here than it did over there. Alright, we'll be still rolling, right? Yeah, we're still rolling. I can't smell shit. Smoky Akium.
Exodus 14 and 16, it says, But lift up thy rod and stretch out thy hand over the sea and divide it, and the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. Verse 17, And I, behold, I will harden the heart of the Egyptians, and they shall follow them, and I will get me honor, and I will get me honor. That's what it's about. honor the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? It says, uh... That's right. He said he's going to get him honor. How is he going to get honor, though? By taking out the Egyptians. Yep. At the end of the day, you know? I got the, uh... The, the older, the other ones. It says, And I will get, uh... Me honor upon Pharaoh and upon all his hosts, upon his chariots and, uh, and upon his horsemen, and the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I have gotten me honor upon Pharaoh upon his chariots. Yeah, they're going to know that he is the Lord, that he is, that he exists, really, that he is the power, yeah. you know, and that really Yahweh Shema Shai is controlling things down here on the earth. Yeah. That uh, promotion, get that in Psalm 75. It says, and upon his horsemen. So I just want to get that drop. Okay. Hey, yo, did you want some more? Yeah, I mean, uh... I'll hold it. I'll hold yeah, it. just hold it. Yeah. We might read it again. This is Psalm 75 and 5. It says... <clears throat> start at 6. When we start at 6? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yep. Psalm 75 and 6. For promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west. Yeah, promotion. You know, being exalted. You know, you get a job. You get, you're on a job, right? You get a promotion, you know. You go from a crew member to a management position. That's a promotion. So he's saying, look, promotion coming from north from the east, from north from the west. It just don't come out of nowhere. You know, it's not, uh, you know, something that just happens. Go ahead. You don't just come in the power because you know, you're a great military tactics and all that. Nah, you know. Go ahead. Yep. This is Psalm 75 and 6. For promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south. Mm -hmm. But. The but. Word. Yeah, but the <laughs> contrast, you know. But Yahweh is the judge. Yeah, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, he is the judge. The Lord is the judge of the whole earth. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. You know? Right. The Most High, he is the judge. He's the king of the earth. You can get that in uh, Sirach. Can you drop that? Uh, Sirach uh, 18, in, um, start, uh, verse 1. We'll, you want to finish this out, yeah, right? Finish yeah, finish that, yep. I just mean like rabbit. Yeah, that's good. It's Psalm 75 and 7. It says, But Yahweh is the judge. He put it down one and set up up another. Yeah, the Most High is the judge. He put it down one and set up up another. So the Lord is going to put Esau down with great fashion and deliver the children of Israel. The, children, the scriptures say, "What well, shall no more be said? The Lord lives that brought the children of Israel from the land of Egypt. Right. But the Lord liveth that brought the children of Israel from the land of the north and all the places he has scattered them. You know? So we're going to be uh, delivered out of this so, land. Yeah. It's going to be soon enough, you know? And the Lord is going to get him a great name throughout all the earth. In yeah. the place where it says, Thou art not my people, you know? They shall say, uh, uh, Gilsey 110, I believe it is. No Israel be at the sand of the sea. Uh, that's, that's what Romans said. Uh, yeah. It's all right. Okay, keep reading for you. Sure. Yeah. This is Rock 18 and 1. He that liveth forever created all things in general. The Lord only is righteous, and there is none other but He. Go ahead. Who governed the world with the palm of His hand. See, the Most High go governs the world, you know? He's controlling everything. Yep. It says, and all things obey His will. See, all things are <laughs> obeying the will of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Yep. When the Lord speaks, uh, they move, you know? The Lord commanded uh, everything, He ordained everything from the foundation of earth to happen today. You know, He commanded the sun to ar arise yep. in their robes. Yep. You know, uh, He commanded the uh, the moon, uh, the moon's gonna come up. Why? Because it's the will of Yahweh by Shema Yeah. Certain parts of the earth, the moon is already up, you know? <clears throat> and that's what, uh, you know, these nations fail to realize, but they're gonna learn soon come. That their 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 moves was orchestrated by the God of the Bible. Yes, yeah, so I'll say one or two. It says uh, I get after this. Okay.
It says, um, unless you want to take one down. Okay. It says, um, Sirach 18 and 3. It says, Who governs the world with the palm of his hand, and, uh, and all things obey his will, mm -hmm. for he is the king of all, by his power dividing holy things among them from profane. Yes, the Lord is king of all. You know, finish out, you can finish out the psalms too. Was there any more than that? I finished psalms. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. So it said the most high is the judge. He put down one and put down another, you know? A judge going back to a king, a ruler. You know? We have deja vu out here, yo. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but look, man, you got more people uh, coming out with these uh, Black Lives Matter uh, signs. We live in the times of the end. Let's get into some prophecy. After you get this, we'll okay. say a one in ten. Oh, you said one in ten. Yeah. Get Exodus 15 and one, bro. What do you hold? You can hold. You can drop the Exodus. This is Hosea, <clears throat> chapter one, verse ten. It says, "Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, mm -hmm. which cannot be measured nor numbered." And hey, look, you got this whole census thing yeah, going around. I was just thinking about that. You know, people knock on the door asking, "Have you done the census?" Right. Done the census, you know. I feel like now more than ever, it's, it's very uh, they're trying to number everybody, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, so they can once they got everybody locked down, they start killing people. They know uh, they're Esau is a crafty devil, you know, just bring enough food to feed enough of the people, you know what I mean, and let the other people starve off. Look, man, Esau is gonna he, he's going to think to be in a good case. You know, but uh, evils are gonna come upon this man. You right. know, <laughs> it's Hosea chapter one verse ten. It says, "Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it is said to them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power." Yeah, it said, in the place that we're said, you are not my people, there it should be said, you are the sons of the living power. You know? So it's going to be made evident who the Israelites are, who the, who the Lord is really dealing with, especially when the Lord brings that destruction. You know? That's right. Oh, get that Luke, bro. This is Luke chapter 17, verse 26. <clears throat> and as it was in that... Like, and as it was in the days of Noah, mm -hmm. so shall it also be in the days of the Son of Man. Yeah, in the days of Noah, what were people doing? You know, living it up, living their best life. You know, everybody, they crying and begging that things go back to normal. Or at least let us go to the club. At least let us go to the bar. You know, let's, let's have a little fun. That's everybody's mentality to live it up, to have mercy. You know, destruction is coming upon America. You know, this is the time to repent. This is the time where the Lord has the, the doors of mercy open, really for the elect. It's crazy, you know. You got the doorman, you got the postman at the door. The only ones allowed in is the elect. Yeah. You know? You know? <laughs> Go ahead. It says, they did eat, they drank, mm -hmm. they married wives. They were given in marriage. Yeah, I mean what? They they kept on with their married life. Oh, we hear no out there. We hear there coming a great flood and destruction. But now we're gonna continue on with our lives. Tomorrow the sun's gonna rise and we're gonna be alright. You know, but that ain't that ain't the truth of the matter. That ain't the reality of things. The reality is death and destruction is on the way. You know? That Yahweh Shema and Shah is fed up with this wicked society. And that's why we out here. You know, we out here to preach of gloom and doom and, and the destruction of, of Babylon the Great. Lord. It says, until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And when Noah entered the ark, talking was over. There was no more preaching, you know? Especially when we beat up in the chariots, Lord's will. You know, that's when that great destruction is going to come and our enemies are going to behold us, you know? They're like, oh shit, man, I know that guy. Yo, that was that dude I passed. You know? That was the guy I passed up on the street, you know? <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, That's about that? so we're getting all the head nods there. Yeah, I got noticed that. No? The police? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got noticed, but 
Smile away, boys. They probably let you keep every car, though. That's fine, though. They worry about something happening. Yeah. I might think... Yeah? I didn't see nothing. Some who? Yeah, uh... The brawl said there was a military vehicle up the street. Yeah, she did say that. National Guard or whatever. Most likely the National Guard. You know? I mean, it's that time we in. You know? Uprise of the people. Uprise of the people, up wars. Yep. But this is all, look, man, whether it's, it's prophecy. Yeah, it's prophecy. <laughs> so, we'll be out, yeah, whether it's Esau thinking yeah. he's doing this thing, yeah. you know, trying to implement his new world order, get, uh, get that in uh, Proverbs 21. Yep. Hold that, bro. This is Proverbs 21. Very good. Verse 21, and I'll start at 1. Oh, yep. It says, The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Yeah, the king's mind is in the hand of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. You know? I Man, he pulling the strings. We just read all things obey the will of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. The Lord is puffing this devil up to, if we're just going to lead to his own destruction. That's right. You know? Really, the prophets are exposed to this man before he even makes his next move. You know, and that's the power of Yahweh by Shema Shai. We've told you there's going to be a false flag, you know, years ago. And what, what happened? COVID-19. You know, all these things are coming to pass because why? Really, the prophets, the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shai has put his spirit on certain men down here to speak his word into existence. Before I tell you these things, before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Uh, Proverbs 21 says so the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers of water he turneth them it whatsoever he will yeah as the, as the rivers of water he turneth it whatsoever he will yeah. so the Lord is working on the minds of these leaders yep. you know to well, do his will mm -hmm. you That's know right. That's right. at the end of the day the nuclear destruction is going to happen you know and everything you see is going to be burnt up these mm -hmm. people Y'all gonna be destroyed. All those that don't want to repent unto the Lord, yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. you were done dealing that day. It's like you ever see a river, you ever see somebody, uh, what's it called, a uh, white water rafter? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? And they build them boats and all of a sudden they this way, all of a sudden it's that way, all of a sudden it's this way. That's how the Lord is with the minds of, the, of these elites, man. Mm -hmm. You know? They're going this way with something. And the Lord says, ah, nah, 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 check, man, go this way. You know? Mm -hmm. Just like the, you see on them, on them when they be um, rafting. Yep, they have to follow the course of the river. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, and exactly. the Lord's controlling it. Exactly. Um, that was it. Yeah, that was it. You gotta read uh, back in Luke. So, Luke. <clears throat> so, we live in the days of Noah all, uh, all over again. It said in the last days. It just as in the time of the Son of Man. I mean, what? Yahweh Shah is about to make his second return. Yep. And when he come back to deliver his elect, that's the end deal. You know? It ain't gonna be no seven years of tribulation and all that nonsense. This is Luke 17 and 27. They did eat, mm -hmm. they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage mm -hmm. until the day that Noah entered into the ark yep. and the flood came and destroyed them all. And the flood came. Didn't Noah say that was going to be a flood? Yep. That's what he said. Yo, guys, nuclear destruction is coming. Nuclear missiles is about to come and destroy America. No there's, no there's not, no there's not, alright, in that day you're going to know that a prophet have been among you, you know, but it's going to be too late, you right. know. It's, it's not far fetched man, this movie's it's been made about it, you Every know? movie, the mad movies, animes, Japanese cartoons, yep. show nuclear destruction, yep. why is everything a post-apocalypto, you know, because right. that, that's the spirit the Lord is putting out on the earth. Yep. It says verse 28. If they weren't going to use these weapons, why are they build them for? You know? Hey, facts. Yep. Facts. Yeah, you got, you got governments. You have leaders of the people literally prancing around their nuclear missiles in the streets. And them things is block city longs. City block long, bro. 
You think they put trillions of dollars in building these things, they just gonna destroy them? Sorry. Get Joel. Get the book of Joel. Was it three? Uh, the Lord said, uh, prepare for war, wake up the mighty man, the other men of war draw near. I believe it was three and eight. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You can get my sword, man. It's hard to turn this. Oh, yeah, bro. Man, we're tired of that one. <laughs> I'm almost done. I, I, I like you know, going through my, 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 my yeah. replacement. Brother, got it? Uh, it's Joel chapter 3, verse 9. Proclaim ye. This among the Gentiles. Yeah, the Gentiles being these heathens, these other nations. And this is what the prophets of Yahweh by Shema are proclaiming on to them. Go ahead. Prepare war. Prepare for war. <clears throat> Get ready. World War III is on the way. This is the will of Yahweh by Shema Shah. The Lord wants you heathens to get ready for war and, to, and, and be ready to be destroyed. You know? Do whatever you gotta do to uh, prepare for this third world war. You know, and just know that uh, uh, in, 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 in the fashion, when you uh, think to take down Esau, Edom, the Lord's gonna come and deliver his elect and take you down at the same time. Right. Okay. It says, um, wake up the mighty men. Go ahead. Let all the men of war draw near. Go ahead. Let them come up. Mm -hmm. Beat your plowshares into swords. Beat your plowshares into swords. I mean, what? Stop spending that money on agriculture and put it into your military. You know? And they said, uh, I believe it was North Korea that was doing that. Yep, it was. You know? It was. They were saying, yo, we'll rather, we, we, we got people starving down here so we can put money into yep. our military might. You know? That's right. I, Iran, they, they, they in that same sentiment. They killed after they, man, you think, the, everybody forgot what happened in the beginning of 2020. Know, right? Everybody just, Everybody's so called up the, the judgments of Yahweh by Shema Shah, catching everybody off guard. Yeah. They being distracted, you know? Yeah. While the prophets, we watching everything. And we, we, we coasting uh, through this destruction, you know? We find a high tower. Everybody else in the city losing their minds, yeah. you know? Part of the city losing their mind, part of the city partying, yeah. you know? Hey, just like uh, that series, uh, was it again? The 100? The 100. Yeah. Jasper, <laughs> yeah. You go Jasper. Uh, the, the dude Jasper, he was getting drunk. He's getting everybody to party because uh, the uh, the fire was coming. Yeah. You know, the, uh, the radiation was coming. Yeah. He's like, hey, you know, we need this party. Everybody's in there partying and his homeboy's like, no, we need to go. We need to leave. Uh -huh. Blah, blah, blah. You know, that, and that's the state that, you know, like you said, these people are in. Yeah, man. They had the movie Armageddon. <laughs> you had some people... And right. the house is praying. Right. right. You had other people just in the street yeah. Yeah. throwing, you know what I mean? Just partying yeah. and stuff. Yep. That's the, that's, yo, people just like, yo, if I'm about to die, we're about to die partying. Yep. But what? Nah, yo. That's not how, it, that's not how it's about to go down. Right. Or said, do we then make mirth? Right. Hell no. Like the movie The Purge. The exactly, yep. bro. That's beautiful. Yep. Good. It says verse 10, uh, Joel 3 and 10. Beat your plowshares into swords mm -hmm. and your pruning hooks into spears. Yeah, we telling these heathens, you know, and get ready for that uh, the uh, uh, that battle in the Valley of Josephine. You know, out there in the Middle East. You know, yeah, how was uh, uh how was Shabbat, which is uh, the Most High's judgment. You know, the Lord is about to judge uh, you heathens. Let the weak say, I am strong. Uh, uh, read up this a little bit more. Where it says, "Beat your plowshares." Uh, verse ten. Beat your plowshares into swords, mm -hmm. and your pruning hooks into spears. So that's what you see happening now. Everybody uh, is is putting their money into this military. You yep. know, getting ready for World War Three. Yep. You know, which is prophesied in the Holy Bible. Go ahead, bro. Let the weak say, "I am strong." Let the weak say, "I am strong." What does that mean? You know what? And Esau ain't gonna be able to bully them with the atomic missiles no more, with the nuclear missiles. When they were once weak, now we got nuclear missiles, my man. What you gonna do? Hey, if I may add on, it's just like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, 
but it's like, like on the Maury show, they would have like from geek to, you know. Yeah. They would have like a, a guy would have glasses on, have a little pocket thing with pins in it. Then he comes out this big buff, and everybody's all sweating. Like, oh my God, you know. That's the weak stand that's strong now. Uh -huh. You know, they was, you know, you saw, you know, bullied them, you know, little nerds that had the military mic, they didn't have the nuclear capability. Now that they've been working over the years, now, hey, look, what's good now? You know, know what I'm saying? Right? What's good now? Yeah, yeah we've been starving <laughs> over here. Yeah. they literally been starving. People yeah. in poverty, third world countries. Now, yo, we just need this one thing, yeah. Yeah. the nuclear missiles. Yeah. They said F being tribute. They, they didn't want to be tributes under Esau, you know? Yeah. They said they ready to fight back, but that's the spirit the Lord's putting on them. Yeah. You know? Also, the, the words of the Lord can come to pass. Right. Assemble, verse 11 Assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves and gather yourselves together round about okay. Yeah, I'm talking about in the Middle East you know here it is, you had Trump Trump, Trump just said we should really leave the Middle East he said this yeah. again yeah. You know, recently, yeah, about two yeah. weeks ago, he said, yeah, we pulled out, but we everybody didn't come out, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's the Lord staying yeah. now, y'all staying in there. That's what you gotta fulfill prophecy, man. That's right. You know? Thither caused thy mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh. Good. Let the heathen be wakened and, <clears throat> and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat Good. for their... For there will I, let me slap it. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. That's right. Y'all by Shema is about to yeah. judge these heathens. You know? That's where the Lord, that's going to be the main stage of this grand finale. You know? Lord. Over there and here in America uh, when this destruction is going on. Because the Lord is going to come from the east. The Lord is going to come destroy our enemies. You know? Or it says, scripts say what there they shall fear the north the name of the Lord from the rising of the sun uh, all the way to the west. So the Lord's gonna do a drive by on them, you know, and then come deliver us. You know, it's gonna be quick. You know, it ain't gonna be enough for the Lord to slaughter these heathens. This is Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying for out of her, my people, uh -huh. that ye be not partakers of her sins. Yeah, that, that's that great trumpet. You know, uh, that's the uh, uh, that's the that's the uh, the voice that the Lord. Oh uh, 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 yeah, the seventh trumpet. Oh uh, yeah, God, yeah. Or women just looking in chariots, but you know, you know. But um, this is uh, Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. Yeah, mean what? Partakers of her sins. Mean what? The, the, uh, the judgment the Lord is going to bring upon them. Yep. You know? And this is when we literally come out of America. You know, when the elect are literally delivered. Yep. You know, stand up on that sea of glass. That's right. It says, And that ye receive not of her plagues. Go ahead. For her saints, sorry, for her sins. Yeah, I'm sorry, and those plagues are what? Those ICBM nuclear missiles. Yep. Like I tell you in Zechariah 14 and 12, this shall be the plague wherein the Lord shall smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. You know, starting with these heathens and two thirds of our armed people. You know, their eyes shall consume away, their, they shall, uh, their flesh consume away as they stand upon their feet. You know, their eyes shall consume away in their holes. Yep. You know? That's the plague that it's talking about. Right. It says, verse 5, Revelation 18 and 5, For her sins are reached unto the heaven. Meaning what? Her sins are reached unto heaven. It means Yahweh, Shema, and Shai have seen the wickedness going on here. Yeah. You know, that's part of the reason why you've seen a lot more chariot sightings. Because, you know, the Lord making it known. Look, I see what's going on in the earth, you know? I see all the wickedness being promoted and that's going on out here. You know? That's why I got, you know, on Dex, uh, September 15, mm -hmm. read further down. That's why we out here, you know, we're, we're not holding our uh, tongues to the spirit and power. Yahweh, Shemiah, was shot. He's speaking through us. Mm -hmm. The Lord is tired of holding back. 
now he look, he's setting forth the judgment, man. Yep. You know? That's right. Well, we can get that next. Yeah, because yeah. I, actually, I actually just want to read that verse, to be honest. Okay, so you want to go ahead, go ahead yeah, to... Yeah, uh, after you, yeah. After you finish. I finished. Right? Okay. Hold on, what though? It says, and the Most High remembered her iniquities. Yeah, the Most High remembered her iniquities. Ain't none. Look, all the iniquities, all the wickedness Esau is doing down here on this earth. Yep. You know? Yep. What was that, Revelation? Oh, wait. You were just there. Uh, Revelation. Revelation 15 first, we just read that, and then we'll get this, and then we'll go back to that. Revelation chapter 15, verse 1. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seal, I mean, having the seven last plagues. For them, I mean, for in them is filled, like, for in them is filled up the wrath of the Most High. Go ahead. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire and <clears throat> and them that had gotten the victory over the beast. It said, and I saw as it was a sea of glass. You know, and them that have gotten victory over the beast. It was, it's basically going to break it down. Keep reading. And over the image so what over the beast over this is over this image over this whole system you know okay and over his mark and the mark being the mark of the beast which is the rfid chip meaning what when when they prevented that chip they overcame him by the blood of the lamb you know mean what they rather they chose rather to die than to be a servant to under the edomites and that's something jake the non-believers are not saying Right. When that servant to see now they're going to be given that option to go back before this destruction comes. They're going to be like, we just want to serve me? Yeah, no problem, man. Just take this ship. You know, take this RFID ship. And those same wicked jakes in the wilderness that say it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians, they're not going to take that leap of faith and trust in the Lord. Yeah. You know? What, is, what, did, uh, uh, what did they tell Morales, Spider Man? It's just a leap of you know, that's all it is. And over the number of his name, uh -huh. stand on the sea of glass. Stand on the sea of glass, which is uh, uh, us standing in the chariots of uh, Israel, the so-called UFOs, uh, uh, looking down at the destruction. Yep. You know? Okay, bro. Having the hearts of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh was shot. That was it, right? Yeah, so what? Oh, what did it say? Those have gotten the victory, right? Yeah. Yeah, so those that get the victory, which is going to be the elect, the multitude of believers, those that stood stiffly for the name of the Lord, you know, those are going to be the ones stay on that sea of glass, you know? When 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 it was when it wasn't easy, when it wasn't uh, uh, in season to serve the Lord, you know, the world wasn't with it, <clears throat> that's when they were serving the Lord, you know? And that's what pleases y'all by Shema Rashad. That was it on that. Okay. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. Behold. Just up, uh, down to 6. Oh, he's going to 6. Oh, uh, verse 7, actually. Where it says, I'm not holding my tongue before. Yeah. 6 or 7. It's 8. Okay. I started 7. 2nd Ezra 15 and 7. 6. For wickedness have exceeded. Come on, come on, come on. It says, For wickedness have exceeded. The 2nd Ezra 15 and 6. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Yeah, wickedness. Wickedness. What is wickedness, man? Wickedness is going contrary to what the Bible says. You know? Here it is. The Lord, the, the, the one who had his servants create the earth, you know, gave him the blueprint, how to create everything, how everything is supposed to uh, go in order, how everything is supposed to be ran. You think he don't know how the earth is supposed to be ran? Right. That's why he gave us his commandments. You know, that understanding. But wickedness has seemingly blew the earth, whole earth. You know what? The earth has been turned everything has been turned upside down yep. you know yeah. Psalms 82 and 5 and um, Isaiah 5 and 20 yeah because like I brought out last week man now you got I almost said that word you know now you got these freaks out here freaks having reading time to your kids trying to turn your kids out man it's not like going to the school these transformers yeah these transformers more than meets the eye <laughs> <laughs> you know 
They're gonna have a reading time with your school, man, with your kids, trying to turn them out, man. That's wicked, man. Yep, and when you look at that word receiving, it means wickedness has gone too far. Yeah. You know? Just like in before we can get our land, you know, the Can the Canaanites had to fulfill their measure of wickedness before the Lord would judge them. Uh, second Ezra 15 and 6 for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth uh -huh. and their hurtful works are fulfilled yes fulfilled yo now is the time for that destruction time. now it's now it's over now is the time for Esau to go down yep. and his whole power system that has control of the whole earth yep. you know real quick that's all take you five Psalms chapter 82 verse 5 they 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 know not Neither will they understand. They walk, they walk on in darkness. All the fountains of the earth, all the foundations, like all the foundations of the earth, are out of course. Yeah, these people walk on in darkness. They know not. Neither do they understand. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Everything that Yahweh Shemal Shai said that was good has been turned upside down. You know, surely his things, uh, 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 surely his turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Shall the thing say to him that formed that he may be not, or that he have no understanding? That's what the devil's mindset is. You know that he's that. Oh, the most. Yeah, he created apples, but I can create better apples. <laughs> seedless apples. Seedless apples. I mean, everyone <laughs> hates seeds, don't right. they? Right. Grapes. Grapes are good. Right. But don't you hate the seed in the middle of them? Right. You know? It's just like everything that the Most High has created, this man has turned upside down. You know? Isaiah 5 20. It's Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Mm -hmm. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. And that's all this world does. Everything that's put in wickedness that that Yahweh Shema Shai is, uh, uh, is against, is exalted here in the society. Yep. Sodomites everywhere. Yep. Uh, uh, abominable foods at every restaurant. You know? Everything, man. Yep. The air being polluted. You know? And the Lord said he gave us clean air. You know? But not. Kim Trails will make it just a little <laughs> bit better. You know? Clean air, clean water. You know? Being able to uh, 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 fish without having a license. I know, right? You know, put mercury in the water. Throwing your trash in the water. Yeah. The damn chemicals from your plants. <coughs> right. Just throw it in the water, man. It'll yeah. be fine. Yeah. Take the gold out of the water and put it in the bowl. I know, right? It'll be, it'll be good up there. It gets a little dusty, uh, but it'll be all right. You know? This man is backwards, man. Not yet, our people fall into the death. Literally. Yeah. They're gonna follow Esau right off that cliff. Mm -hmm. He in the hundred on the rocky road. You sure we good, man? Yeah, we're good. Yeah. yeah. I know, right? He over here texting, <laughs> talking to him. Yeah, we good, man. We good. <laughs> Finish that out, bro. No brakes work. <laughs> nah, they don't. <laughs> what? Is, they put darkness for light and light for darkness. They put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Yeah, so everything has been turned upside down. Now committing acts of righteousness, that's looked out as a bad thing, you know? But committing wickedness, that's what's in, you know? Yep. That's that wickedness that exceedingly blew the whole earth. You, you got some. Okay. This is Psalms 97 and 10. It says, ye that love the Lord, hate evil. So ye that love the Lord, ye that are keeping his commandments, hate evil. Yep. Evil is wickedness. You know, things that go contrary to what pleases the Lord. Yeah. Okay. Psalms 97 and 10. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. Yeah, the evil is the ways of this world. Yeah, yeah. You know, the ways that this world promotes, that's evil. You know, so we're supposed to hate this present evil world. You know, we're not supposed to be down with the system. So when that RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, be pre pre presented onto us, we're supposed to uh, reject it. You know, but it starts now. You know, you can't be all invested in this world and then be invested in Yahweh by Shema Shai. You can't serve two masters. I'll tell you that Matthew 6 chapter. That's right. Uh, Psalms 97 and 10. He that love the Lord hate evil. Mm -hmm. 
He preserved the souls of his saints. Yep, he preserved the souls of his saints. Those that are his saints, the, the elect, yep. he's going to preserve them through this, uh, uh, this tribulation. Yep. You know, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also shall keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the whole world to try them that dwell on the earth. You know, that's the reality of things. You know, that the Lord is going to protect those that, that trust in Him. You know, that are trying their best to serve Him. But those who are the non believing, <laughs> yeah, get 1 Corinthians 6 and 9, bro. Hey, we were just in us, uh, second 15. That's right. All the unfaithful should die. And they're unfaithful. They're unfaithfulness. This is uh, Psalms 97 to 10. It says, He delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. Yeah, He's going to deliver us out of the hand of our, of the hand of our enemies. Yeah. Out of His clutches. Out of this hardcore bondage wherein we are made to serve. That's right. And we have the Lord willing to probably do that number that gets those new bodies. That's you right. know? And that receives the kingdom of heaven on the first go around. And the wicked is Esau, man. Ain't no, ain't no way around it. If, as and buts. Malachi, the first chapter. Job 9 and 24. Okay. First Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the most high? Yeah, the unrighteous ain't gonna inherit the kingdom of Yahweh by Shema <laughs> what, what, what do you think this is, my man? Right. You know? You think you're gonna inherit the kingdom? Yeah. Nah, the, the wicked jinx, you're gonna get put down and destroyed. You know, those who take that chip. For sure. Go ahead. Be not deceived. Don't don't be deceived. You know you got these pastors in churches saying, just accept Jesus Christ and, and your Lord and Savior, you'll be all right. Is that simple? It's <laughs> that simple. Man. You know? Yeah. Neither fornicators. Neither fornicators. Go ahead. Nor idolaters. Mm -hmm. Nor adulterers. Go ahead. Nor effeminate. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. And really, that's what this whole world is really going into. It promotes, you know, idol worship. You know, people committing adultery, uh, uh, being a sodomite. You know, that's what this world promotes. <coughs> it, it it puts it on a pedestal, you know, while righteousness is cast off into a, in, into a dark room somewhere. You know, okay. Says nor thieves, nor thieves, and thieving that's that's big in the society, you know, getting over on people, scamming people. Okay, you got people that do that 24 that's a full time job, you know, nor covetous. You got damn the, the, the bankers of Wells Fargo just taking money out of people's bank account, you know, it's crazy. Then you don't catch all that, that money in the mind now. You know? <laughs> they don't even have all the money in those banks where everyone to go and get that money they need, right? Uh-huh. You know, look what happened out there in, um, what was it, man? It was over in, um... Daily? No, it was in, um, somewhere in Europe. One of them cities in, um, um places in Europe. I can't remember. Yeah, the bank rush. The bank rush. It was, uh, something happened. Everyone was going to the bank to get out money. And there wasn't enough, uh, money in the bank where everyone to get their money out. People was having a fit, man. Yeah. yeah. That's what happened during the Great Depression. And the Great Depression is on the way. These yeah. niggas out here about to be depressed. They about to be hurt. Inflate, you know, man. Everything is going to It's going to jump, man. That's I was, all, I'm sorry. That's what we tell people. Look, get things you got to get now, man. Get extra bars of soap. Get extra bags of rice. Water. You know? Candles. You know what I'm saying? They can't think about no candle to the light go up. It's good to say wise <laughs> man perceived the evil and hide of himself. Yeah. You know? And look. Hey, well, well, yeah. We're not telling you to trust in these things, but like you said, the wise man perceived the evil. I know, right? You better go by what you need <laughs> now. For yeah. I was at the grocery store the other day, and for a half gallon of goat's milk was $12. You know what it's I mean? Man. Yeah, that's $12, yo. You know, that's supposed to be the best milk but twelve dollars for a half gallon Do they see these prices yeah. what the hell you have these people in, in, in the Carolinas they're not making twelve dollars an hour you know what I mean I'm fortunate if you do yeah 
That was it, man? Mm. Yeah, I'll stand and finish it up. Okay. It said North D, mm -hmm. North Covetous. North Covetous. Everybody, everybody here in Babylon is Covetous. Yeah. Damn, you always see that watch? Yeah. You can have a watch in your hand. Yeah. You can have a woman on your side, but then you look at what the next man's got. Yeah, I need that. Because yeah. look, you go to these grocery stores, right? You go to Home Depot. You already got the cellophane, but the way they display it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. The way they display it, you're like, yo, I need that oven. Yeah. You know, we already got the oven at the house. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. What you guys not good enough here in America. It never is. You know? Especially the woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jake's woman, you know? Yep. It's crazy, yeah. This is nor drunkards, mm -hmm. nor revilers, yeah. nor extortioners mm -hmm. shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High. So basically, somehow, love, you know, only the righteous is going to inherit the kingdom of Yahweh by Shema yeah. You know, that's that's what that's what's going to come to pass. Yahweh by Shema is going to have the righteous inherit the uh, the kingdom, and <laughs> why everybody else going to be destroyed, yo? Yep. <clears throat> that was it. Yeah. Oh, God. It's back in the second half. Yeah. Second Ezra chapter 15 verse 7. Therefore, thus therefore saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. Yeah, the Lord ain't holding his tongue no more. That's why he's come out here and sent his prophets. You know, to prophesy on you uh, of war, even the pestilence. Because the Lord, hey, he, he held his tongue for a, a moment in time. Yeah. They did their wickedness, but now it's, it's done. Now it's time for you either mice to go down. Now it's time for wickedness to, to come to an end. Yeah, the scriptures say that triumph of the wicked is but for a, a, a moment. Mm -hmm. You know, that's talking about Esau Edom, but it's talking about the wickedness of our people too, man. That's right, bro. This is uh, back in 2nd Ezra 15 and 8. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. See, these people exercise themselves in wickedness, man. Yeah. Scripts say it is a sport to the wicked to do mischief. You know? A sport. A sport. It's a game to them. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It ain't nothing. They want to they wanna commit their wickedness. You got some jakes that can't go to sleep unless they commit wickedness. Yeah. You know? Smoke a blunt. Smoke a blunt. You know? They up all night end up their, their connect. Yo, man, can you come through? Yeah. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Yo, yeah. man, can you come through? I'm, I can't go to sleep. Yeah. I'm in trouble sleeping. Yeah. Don't want to get out of bed. Yeah. You know? It's crazy. Yeah. It says, uh, 2 Ezra 15 and 8. It says, In which they wickedly exercise themselves, behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me. The Lord set up his prophets. Yep. The innocent, righteous blood. Look, man, they cry unto Yahweh by Shema yep. Those, those in the spiritual realm, you know. Yep. Uh, according to uh, uh, Genesis, I believe uh, nine and six, or six and nine. I believe it's nine and six. Know. You know. know. How long, O Lord, will thou not judge righteously in the earth? Yeah. When, when Cain slays Abel, yeah, Cain, yeah. you know, his blood crieth unto me. Yep. You know. And, and, and really keep reading a little bit more. Yeah. In 2 Ezra 15 and 8, it says, Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, mm -hmm. and the souls of the just complain continually. And the souls of the just, which are the elect, you know, are complaining continually down here in America. That's right. Just like Lot <laughs> complained continually, you know? Lot was in, in, in Sodom and Egypt, complaining unto Yahweh Shema Shai. That's the same thing we're doing. You yeah, but know? We add on. There's yeah. a reward for a, 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 a complaint to the Lord and righteousness, man. Uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4. The Lord said that mark upon the foreheads of exemption, right, from judgment. Right? And that's what you want to receive, man. Because if you don't have that mark to be exempt from judgment, you're going to be judged in a fashion that you don't want to be judged, man. Okay? So it said, the innocent and righteous blood, said the just the souls of the just complain continually, ongoing. Because when you read Isaiah 62, it says what? Give the Lord no rest. That's right. Yeah. Until he uh, 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 
uh, established Jerusalem uh, upon the earth. Brother, paraphrase, man. Okay. Uh, a praise. Okay, got it. Oh, sorry. I'm butchering. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, mm -hmm. which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Going back to Ezekiel 3 and 17. The Lord said, O watchmen, man. You know, right now it's evening time over here, but across the world, you know, you got Jake somewhere on their bed, you know, doing a lesson, man, doing an epistle. You know, there's a Jake uh, uh, on the job right now, man. You know, crying out to the Lord. You know. Hey, Jeremiah said there was a burning, and I could not steal. Yep. Yep. You know, he was catching hell. He said ever since. Uh, can you get a real quick for me? Jeremiah 29. You know? He was Jeremiah was catching hell. You know? He said ever since I cried to the Lord, you know. Let's look at Jeremiah chapter 20. <clears throat> and I started uh verse 9. One verse 9. It says, Then I said I will make not mention of him nor speak anymore in his name. Yeah, because Jeremiah was catching hell. He said, yo, I ain't gonna, I ain't even go out there and deal with those niggas no more, you know? Every time I, every time I go out there on the highways and byways, niggas scoffing, they throwing eggs, I know, rocks, I know, right? bricks, they trying to fight me, you know? Yeah. Okay? Because, you know, it wasn't a good message. And Jake, you know, they didn't want to hear that. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? You come and tell somebody, hey, look, man, we gonna go on to slavery, this gonna happen, that's gonna happen. You know, they gonna be like, just talking about me, I'm not trying to hear that, man. You know, yeah, right. just like today, everyone wants positivity, love, love, peace. You I know, know right? <laughs> They're right. gonna save the world through some jazz music, right? <laughs> it says, uh, Jeremiah 20 and uh, 9. It says, Then said I, I will not make mention of him nor speak anymore in his name, but his word was in my heart. As a burning fire shut up in my bones, mm -hmm. and I was was weary with forbearing, Good. and I could not stay. Yeah. So what? Why? Because Jeremiah was ordained to be a prophet. Yep. The Lord had put His words in His mouth. Yep. You know, so He couldn't do. He couldn't stop. No one can resist the will of Yahweh Shemuel Shai. The Spirit was on him. He yep. had to say something, and that's what these uh these electronic epistles. You know, that's that's the same sphere that we are in. That's why brothers just turn on the camera. They don't got nothing planned. But Yahweh by Shemel Shai is working on them. You know, working with them and working on them to uh to say what he wants them to say. To bring out, you know, the precepts. You know, something I just turn on the camera. See what the Lord want me to go into, or right, we going into that. You know? Yeah. I just still can't be no more than ten, eleven years old. This man sang off his ass, man. Crazy. That's Babylon. That's Babylon, man. Finish out Isaiah, and then get those two, and then um, we finish that second. There was one that we're holding that we didn't finish. Uh, that loop. We didn't finish loop 17. Keep going. It's uh, <coughs> Isaiah 62 and 6. Yeah. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Mm -hmm. You that make mention of your how about shim was shot. Keep not silence. So look, the Lord already commanded that those who make mention unto him, those that have his name, those that have his word, to keep not silence. So the true men, they're not going to keep silence. Right. You know, they're going to be constantly putting up lessons, you know, throughout the week. They're going to be constantly watching, reading, studying, you know, chanting the bow downfall of America, you know, and the uprising, the uplifting of the nation of Israel, you know. What do you think, brother, say, uh, Kwam Yashar you know? There's always something to do in this truth. Always something to do, you know? And give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. And that's what we're waiting for. Hey, look, we bringing it up. Yo, Lord, didn't you say that the remnant was going to inherit this? Didn't you say you're going to take our enemies out of power? Yep. You know, so we out here crying on to the Lord so he can uh, make good on his promise. That's right. You know? Crying out, warning the people, That's telling right. them that they're gonna be destroyed, letting the words of Yahweh Shema Shai have free course so they can so they can still the elect. That's right. So the spirit can guide the elect. You know, and this destruction can come. What was 
Jake walked by with a, uh, a, a, a African uh, 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 medallion on his chain, man. When the, the, the homeland is Jerusalem, man. Tell you that in the book of Galatians. Mm -hmm. You know, Jake is searching for answers, but the truth is right in front of him, man. All right, and they, and they cast the, uh, the counsel of the Lord behind him, man. So in these times that we're living in, the times that's coming to pass, they're not going to be protected, man. Because they're forsaking the Lord as they walk by the many he have set up, man. Tell you that in Proverbs 1 and 24. So Isaiah chapter 13, verse 19. In Babylon, the glory of the kingdoms. Yeah, Babylon, America. Go ahead. The glory of the kingdoms. Go ahead. The beauty of the Chaldees. Excellency. Yeah, this, this place is exalted in the earth right now. This is the place to be. Go ahead. Shall be as when the Most High threw, overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, it's going to be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And how did he overthrow them? With fire and brimstone out of heaven. Get Genesis 19.22. This is <clears throat> Isaiah 13 and 19. In Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, mm -hmm. the beauty of the Chaldees, excellency. Yep. Shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. So look, that's the fate of America. Whether you people want to believe it or not, uh, it's our word said the sun rose. It's Zozar. I got you. It said, so that's the fate of America at the end of the day. America is going to be destroyed. Yep. Just as when he overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And we're going to get the account, you know, when he overthrew Sodom, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, and we're going to get the account of, uh, of, of, the, of, of a lot, you know, because that's the spirit we got to be in. This is Genesis 19 and 23. The sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zohar. Mm -hmm. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. Hey, so that was the, that was the end all be all. Yep. The Lord waited for a lot to get out of Sodom and Gomorrah, you know? And then what happened? Right after that, he rained brimstone and fire out of heaven, yep. you know? And that same, that same, uh, those same elements that made up that fire and brimstone is, is being used today uh, with these nuclear missiles, yep. you know? The Lord have created the smith that blow up the coals in the fire, yep. smithing those modern day uh, scientists to create the nuclear bomb. You know, to bring it forth an instrument for his work. That instrument for his work is to cleanse the earth with that fire. Waste it to destroy. You know, to cleanse the earth with that fire to uh from all this wickedness. You know? And that waste or destroy. You already know what those that is, those right. nuclear missiles. Right. It says verse 25, Genesis 19 and 25, and he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities. And that which grew upon the ground. He got rid of everything. Yeah, I mean, what? It, it, it would never be inhabited again. Right. You know? The same thing. You saw Isaiah? Yeah. The same thing we're about to read in Isaiah. Any more? Yeah, I can keep reading. Yeah, yeah. It says, But his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. Yeah, it says, No man that put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. The scriptures all say, Remember Lot's wife. So that's the spirit of a woman, to look back, you know? Yeah. So we can't uh, be in that spirit of looking back. Oh man, all that riches and stuff I had back then, I had a good job, you know? We can't be in that spirit, you know? At least we turn into that pillar of salt and be destroyed here in America. Yeah. That when we offer that that way out, yeah. you know what I mean? Which is the RFID ship, the, the supposedly way out. Right. You know, that the salvation that Esau is a... Uh, that false salvation that Esau is promoting, which is the chip, you know, at least you take it, you know? It reads on, verse 27, mm -hmm. it says, And Abraham, and, and going back to Lot's wife real fast, mm -hmm. you know, you got to understand those, you know, those uh, I can got wife, kids, things of that nature. They look back towards this world, want to hold on, you got to let them, man. You got to let them be, man, you know? The scripture say, wherever you lose on this side, you're going to gain a hundredfold. You know? 
That's right. It's a pill to swallow, but you gotta swallow it. Verse 27, Genesis 19 and 27, Abraham got up early in the morning. Uh, that was it. That was it, yeah. Good job, Alexander. It's Isaiah chapter 13, verse 20. It shall never be inherited. Inhabited, it's like. Neither shall it be, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Just like we read in Simon and Gomorrah, the Lord destroyed everything. The, the whole land to the foundation. You know, crops ain't growing back up in there, in there again. It became a desert. You know? The Lord's saying now. The Lord's saying what? Babylon is going to become a desert. Babylon being America according to the Bible. You know? And what's going to cause it to become a desert? Those eyes to be able to clear missiles, man. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there. Yeah, how you got major cities and people uh, building here in America? That's gonna be done away with. That ain't happening a hundred years from now. You know, after this destruction. That ain't happening 10,000 years from now. You know, this guy's is gonna be a continual uh, waste, wasteland. Okay. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. Okay. The wild beast of the desert shall lie there. Yeah, the, see, it's gonna become a desert. The wild beast of the desert, uh, of the wild beast of the desert, are gonna be over here. And their houses shall be full of desolate creatures. I mean, those doleful creatures. Go ahead. The owls shall dwell there, and mm -hmm. and sat. I mean, and uh, <clears throat> satyr shall dance there, mm -hmm. and the wild beast of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses, and the dragons in their in their pleasant places. And her time, it's like, and her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. Yeah, so what? After this destruction, you're going to have a whole bunch of unclean animals over here, unclean birds. You know, it's basically going to be the new desert, you know? Because the Lord is going to build up the Middle East. It's going to be a paradise over there, you know, mainly in Jerusalem. You know? It's going to be a shift of, uh, the, the earth is going to be, uh, no, the earth is going to be a paradise, but America is going to be that memorial for all generations. This is what happens when you mess with Yahweh by Shema This is what happens when you run society off of wickedness, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah, son. Yeah. Did you, you finish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to okay. get into a little bit of Simon. Let's stay on that Simon. Simon of uh, Egypt. Simon of War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's where we got that loop. But I got to put it on the second Okay. Piece. I got because you said something. Okay. 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 This is Ezekiel chapter 12, verse... Uh, 21. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel, saying, uh -huh. The days are prolonged and every vision faileth? See, this is what our people are saying. When we come out here on the highways and byways and preach on to them and tell them that what? That uh, that we're the Hebrew Israelites, you know, that we gotta repent, and that America, if we don't repent, you know, if you don't turn back sorrowfully to, to acknowledge your heritage and to have faith in who the world really calls God and Jesus Christ, when this destruction comes to America, when these calamities come, when race riots come, you know, uproars of the people, a civil unrest is here in America, then what? Uh, you're going to be caught up in that destruction. You're not going to be protected, you know? We're telling you that Black Lives Matter is not the way, you know? But trust in, in the God of the Bible, that, that's the way. That's the way that the Lord is trying to show unto our people. But a majority of our people, but they're on that broad gate that leads to destruction. Go ahead. Uh, Ezekiel 12 and 23 he says, say what? And many there be that go in there at. So many people are going to find that broad gate. Okay. Yep, verse 23. Tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. These are not our words. We read now the Bible. Right. You know, this mystery that was here for ages has now been revealed unto the servants of prophets. Go ahead. Yep. It says, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. Meaning what? He's going to make this proverb to cease? Meaning what? Oh, where is your God that's going to save you? Right. You know, where, where is what you're saying? Where's the proof in that? Where's the proof in the pudding? Right. You know, the Lord's going to cause that to cease. He's going to rise up and he's going to make good on his words. Go ahead. Yep. It says, But say unto them, The days are at hand and the effect of every vision. 
Yeah, the days are at hand, the effect of every vision. And what is the vision? The vision is that, you know, America is going to be destroyed by 200 ICBM nuclear missiles. There's going to be a World War III. You know, it, it's going to be destroyed in that World War III. And that your enemy, the so-called white man, you know, Esau, Edom, according to the Bible, is going to come down with great wrath. Right. Just like the Egyptians did, you yep. know, against uh, the, the nation of Israel. You know, and the Lord is going to deliver them out of that. That's right. You know, it, everything, you know, is bringing a, a back to full circle. For there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. For I am the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. Go ahead. It shall be no more prolonged. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word. And will perform it, saith the Lord power. Yes, yeah, saying for your day, the Lord is going to say the word, and He's saying He's speaking through the prophets, and He's going to perform it. Meaning what? In your lifetime, this thing is going to go down. This thing is going to happen. You know, and it's going to catch a lot of our people as a, as a thief in the night. Why? Because why is it going to catch them? Why the scriptures talk about the Lord coming as a thief in the night? Because they didn't take heed to what the watchers were saying. You know, the waiters, those that were serving the Lord and waiting for him to bring his word to pass, you know? That was it. That was it, Colin. Just second Peter, bro. Yep. Second Peter chapter two, verse six. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah <clears throat> to into ashes. Now we just read that just as the most high overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. That's going to be the same way that he overthrows Babylon the Great, you know? And he turned those cities into ashes. So what do you think is going to happen to America? America is going to be turned to ashes. <laughs> the most wickedest yep. kingdom to ever be resurrected uh, you know, in the history of time. You think that kingdom is just going to scale away free? You know? You think them promoting a sodomy at an all-time high? You know, them uh, creating GMOs, uh, uh, GMO foods, fluoride in the water, chemtrails in the air. You think you're just going to scot free? You think it's, this devil is just going to uh, 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 watch the sunrise and be all right? No, nah, the Lord is going to turn this uh, this uh, kingdom into ashes. Okay? Condem condemn them with an <laughs> overthrow. And we out here condemning this kingdom right now with, uh, with our words, you know? Before these things spring forth, the Lord sends his prophets out here to tell you of them. You know, we in the spirit of Noah. Did not Noah uh, condemn the world, you know, and became heirs of the righteousness? He did that all by faith. And we are moving uh, through faith. The scriptures say, uh, by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourself it is the gift of the Most High. So the Most High has given us that spirit of faith, that gift of faith, to come out here you know, and, and preach his word, you know, and to know that these things are going to happen, <clears throat> that the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the elect of them, are going to uh, receive a salvation, you That's know, right. in the scattered, uh, the scattered believers, okay? It says, making them example unto those that after should live ungodly. Because the Lord don't change. Yahweh Shemel he don't change. So he made them an example. He said, look, you already seen what I did beforehand. You know, you think I changed? You think my judgment for wickedness is going to change? No, it's not. You know? Okay. I got you. You got it? Okay. This is Malachi 3 and 6. For well, I am Those the Lord, right. I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. That's right. That's what we trust in, that the Lord not going to change. That wickedness always came to an end and will come to an end. He says, and delivered just lot. And delivered just lot. Meaning what? He delivered righteous lot. He was just in his ways. He 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 was a man after the most high's heart, you know? He 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 was a um you know, he was a follower of the Lord. He was a believer of the Lord. That's right. You know? Because before he went to Sodom and Gomorrah, what? He was with Abraham, was he not? You know? They had divide they had so much stuff. They was getting Yo, it was that getting... service was uh, arguing with each other. You know what I'm saying? They, look, look. Now, this is our cattle. Yeah, yeah. This is our cattle. This is what we feed at. This is what we give them water at. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's just like that's how much substance, substance they yeah. had. You know? All because they were serving the Lord. Yep. 
You know? That's crazy. Yeah. We're like, all right, y'all gotta split up. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And that's what, when you read Genesis 18 chapter, he was like, oh, you going to Sodom and Gomorrah to see about the wickedness going on? Yeah, well, what right. about if there's 10, if there's 10 people in the righteous, will you preserve the right. city? Yes. You know? Because he was, he was, uh, what was he doing? He was really pleading for Lot's case. Yep. He understood that Lot and his family was in there. Yep. You know? And the Lord did as he as he said. Only Lot was righteous, my man. Yep. You know? Yep. He's, and he asked, any sons, nephews in here? Anyone who's, who's who you want out? Uh, yeah. You know? <laughs> his sons was like, they mocked him. Yeah. You know? Yep. Well, they ain't coming. Yeah. Alright, bring your daughters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bring your wife, you yeah. know? Vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. And that's what we are vexed with. We're vexed right. with the filthy conversation of the wicked. That's right. You know, we tired of being out here, yo. We tired of being in this kingdom. Yep. Yo, I mean, like, what is there in here that you can't do with nothing in this kingdom, man? Yo, you can't go chill with somebody because their conversation and the things they say is going to be off. Right. You got to be in a controlled environment, you know? But this is what we're going to do. You know, you can't be around these people, man. Yeah. All bug outs and shit and whatnot. Anytime I get into a car with a person in the world, I'm driving, yo. They ain't driving. Nah, yo, I got it, yo. But nah, I want to drive. Well, I'll meet you there, yo. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Verse 8, for that righteous man dwelling among them mm -hmm. and seeing and hearing so seeing in here, so the con conversation goes back to your conduct. You know, how you carry yourself. And these people are carrying themselves in, in pure wickedness. So him seeing and hearing those things, you know, and we being, you know, in that same, you know, air of wickedness, wickedness is, uh, you know, it's being exalted and, you know, the righteous are basically, you know, having to dwell among them. We see and seeing all this wickedness you gotta double check to see if a woman's a woman. Right. You know, make sure she's not no transformer out here. You know, everybody out here, all these women are defiled. The food, you gotta check the back of the damn label. Make sure there ain't no uh, bumble, uh, you know, uh, food. You gotta make sure when you get your food to your plate, you gotta examine it. Make sure there ain't no damn pork on the plate. Yeah. You know, you get a quesadilla, you gotta flip that thing open. And examine what's inside of it, you know. We tired of being here. That's why we crying out to the Lord. Yeah. I'm sorry. Shout out the Most High, bench is on the elect, which cry day and night unto Him. Never. It says, vexed his righteous soul from day to day. We vexed, you know. delivered him, you know? He delivered that poor righteous man. 
scriptures say what the the prayer of a poor man pierces the clouds it would not come down uh, uh, and he would not uh, uh, basically be satisfied until it come down to the Lord to the Lord plead his cause but that's the spirit we are in we're that poor man rich with faith and our faith is in Yahweh Shema Shai. The Lord Yahweh Shema Shai knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation uh -huh. and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. That's right. And that great temptation that's coming uh, 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 on the earth is that RFID ship, the mark of the beast. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the ungodly out of, temp the godly out of temptation and he's going to preserve the wicked for the day of judgment. Those into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. All the non-believers that were mocking and scoffing at Noah, they got destroyed yep. by the flood. Okay. It says, likewise also <clears throat> as it was in the days of Noah of Lot. Likewise also was also in the days of Lot. We just read what happened during the days of Lot. Go ahead. They did eat. They wanted to have sex with the angels. They was partying in uh, in Sodom and Gomorrah. They said, we want to know these men. We want to know these <laughs> men. You know? Middle of the night. Right. Nighttime. Partying. Yeah. Living it up. That was the same night, bro. Right. He said when the morning rose, he said, F, he went ahead and, um, he went ahead and, and did his thing. Yeah. And hey, think about this. Lot was giving up his virgin daughters. You know what I'm saying? Virgin daughters. Uh, and that just goes to show you how reverse Jake was back then, man. It's even worse now. Uh, it says, um, they, they did eat, they drank, they brought and sold, they planted, they, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone. But the, heaven. but the same day that Lot was delivered 
battle of Sodom and it's like it went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. And the same thing is going to happen today. That's why we read in Revelation, they stood upon this, those that got the victory over the beast and over the system and over his mark and over the number of his name, they stood upon the sea of glass as a miracle is being burnt up. And nothing that these people were, uh, did was able to uh, prosper against them. You know? Why? Because they are without fault uh, before the throne of Yahweh by Shemel and Shai. And the Most High before us, who the hell can be against us? No one. It don't matter. Esau got all this military. Esau, the Lord wants Esau to have all this crap, you know? Just so when he destroys them, is that much uh, greater, you know? Any more than that? Hey, and destroy them all. All these people, all these wicked uh, uh, heathens. All these wicked yikes, they're going to be destroyed. And, 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 and those that were given diligence to serve the Lord, you know, uh, they're going to get the victory. You know, and it's that simple, you know. With that, we're going to close out, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekach, Kadash. Uh, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching us the warm of the truth, according to the Bible, more well. And peace and blessings, snowflake of the nation of Israel. Next time we say, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.